And welcome here. back to Goblets of Warlords, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is episode nine of Order to Goblet. Welcome back, everybody. Our holiday break is now officially over. I'm still in leaves. That's why I have a beard right now going on. But by Friday for Dragonlance, it'll be all shaved off and be back to my normal clean shaving looking self. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part of tonight's episode is. If you don't want to leave a comment, leave your favorite emoji. You know, engagement. Thank you. Uh, announcements are coming up that I will be putting out more uh, content for YouTube. by Over the next couple of days, look out for another video. I'll be putting something out for that. Thank you, everybody, for the resubs. We have JR with the resub, Roar Tender with the resub, and the True Wessel with the resub, which did a hype train already. Uh, people redeeming stuff, D sitses to pretty much everybody. Uh, looks like we're going to have a 93% hype train. Thank you so much, everybody. We love you very much. Um, also, what I started doing that I did tonight also is I started going live on TikTok, and I'm going to start doing that before we go live on Twitch. You know, if you want to come hang out and talk to me through the um, uh, talk through my preparing stages before a session and all that, and you can come hang out at my uh, Twitch live or TikTok lives and. You know, talk to me and ask questions about D&D while I prepare for the session. I'm going to start doing that before each session. Also coming to YouTube would be our Dark, the, the Black Order. I keep wanting to call it Dark Order for some reason. The Black Order campaign or one shots. We haven't really decided yet. It's just going to be content strictly for YouTube. We're going to go straight to YouTube. Our Nerd Hall is going to be in it. Uh, what the rewards are for each uh, 20 likes we get on a video. I'll give a D20 to the... Uh, party uh, for the next uh, episode post. So, yeah, being said, tonight's streamer's stream is Order to Goblet, my personal homebrew campaign. This campaign is helping develop the world of Vetus that I've designed and created. And our fellow streamers in the chat is, we we'll go with uh, a JR. Hey, um, yeah, so I stream stuff. Come and check me out. Also, <laughs> tomorrow we're going to be doing Maiden's Mayhem, and then uh, on Saturday, the January 20th, he's got a little bit of weight. We're going to be back with Hawick, where Jugen is playing a stealth archer. What else? Uh, and then this Sunday, maybe? Some Sunday, I'm going to start doing a really short uh, campaign about a group of people in a boba shop uh, in a swamp, of all things. So come check us out on Sundays as well. All right, and uh, we do have Silver Wolf. She started streaming again. Back. It's been a roller coaster. Uh, I'll be back on Fridays like normal, about 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I might add some more days, but I'm not sure yet. You just went muted. Like, uh, you're not coming. Thank you much. <laughs> so my microphone. I, I saw that. My microphone does not want to pick up everything, so... Um, <laughs> you kind of just faded off into nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Started loud and just gradually went boop. Why does my mic never work? Okay, this thing is just so old and janky. I need a new one. So I'll be I'll be here on Mondays and hopefully some more days on my stream on, besides Friday. So we'll see. And no worries, your character's dead. So we won't be talking at all tonight anyway. Yeah, so it's fine. Damn, We're all just gonna stand here completely <laughs> silent. <laughs> exactly. Uh, everybody it's the also. It's show now. <laughs> <laughs> In an unconscious uh, uh, Providence show. <laughs> true, 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 you can't forget that one. Uh, also, uh, for everybody joint tuning in tonight, I have now put the ads down to the very possible minimum. Uh, so there's no pre-roll ads. When you come in, you come right into the show. Um, I think it's delayed by like 15 minutes, and then you get a 30-second ad. And every hour is a 30-second ad. So there, I can't, you know, I can't get rid of ads completely. So I hate ads. I'm not going to force y'all kind of sit through ads too. And especially if a show or, you know, running a show and you want to watch the follow the campaign, it's kind of it's like you get stuck in some ads. So I turn them down as much as possible. So hope you enjoy. With that being said, Kalis, which is fitting, rolled the lowest for recap because he's technically the only one breathing, alive, and talking. No breathing. 
Provis is just unconscious. Everybody else is currently dead. So, yeah, this should be a great episode tonight. So stick around, grab your goblet, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show. It's against the rules in this game. No. Welcome back. Kalis, would you like to lead us in tonight's recap? Uh, yeah. So, uh, we slept. And then we woke up. Uh, I remember being very nervous because I had to fight somebody that could shapeshift. Um. And then the rest of the party was going to fight a dragon. Uh, they came. They took us. We tried to make some deals with some guards. That wasn't happening. Uh, then they put us in a cell in the Coliseum. Uh, there was somebody in the cell next to us. Uh, Fane bothered him so much. Uh, I'm pretty sure he went deaf. Then I had to fight. I fought a man that turned into a giant bear. Uh, he bit me. Uh, in the end, I did prevail. Uh, solely for Manny's sake, but that was the first person I have ever killed. <laughs> uh, shortly after, they took me back to the cell. They took everybody to fight the dragon, and before I knew what was happening, they were taking me back alone to the cells that they keep us at when we're not in the Coliseum. And the party wasn't with me. I mean, you did hear some stuff at the end of the session. <laughs> Or some guards talking. They wouldn't tell me anything. I kept asking. But you did hear it. You didn't put it in your recap, is all I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you, you, well, since you're alive, so we'll, we'll pick up there with you. You hear guards saying, why would they want with these bodies? They're dead. Who cares? They paid. They paid a lot for them. Let's sh sh take them. Where are you taking those bodies? Who said that? Because they're down the hall taking them out, and you're I, like in the cell in the very back. I my hand is out and as much as I can get out. I'm like, I need somebody to pay attention to me. Well, somebody come and let you know what happened. Move, let's go. And um. 
eventually uh I keep forgetting this Ort's name. Uh was it Brograk? Brogak. 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 With a V. Uh <clears throat> eventually uh Kaylee, you hear somebody approaching. It is uh Rogak and he's like so uh, I don't know how to say this, but it appears your friends have died. All of them? It appears so. But some odd, some people bought, I don't know, for some reason they still wanted the dead bodies, so they take the dead bodies to whoever paid for them. Somebody. That's all. That's the only reason that the dragon did not eat your friends because uh, somebody bought you, your friends. Who? Ah, one of the nobles. What's gonna happen to me now? You're still in the tournament. Good first round though, though, right? I mean, I had my first fight today. Exactly. You did really well. I'm I was only doing this to keep Manny from from dying. I don't know what well, you deal with, me with Manny, uh you know, man uh, What I understand there was a uh, somebody put in for you and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what deals you had with I'm just here to escort you back and forth, so let me know when you're ready to go back to the cage. Can you find out who has my friends? I can ask around, but all I know is one of the noble families bought them. I think it was the twins. But I can go confirm. Hey. Uh, I guess take me back. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go. And he starts taking you out and um, loads you back into the horse and carriage. You're all by yourself. I am just going to be listening to any and all conversation I can hear and trying to pick out anybody talking perception about check. the fight. You can, of course, do with advantage because you have your heightened senses for that. Uh, 22. 22. Um, as you come out, uh, as uh, he leads you back to the carriage, you do overhear, um, like, very... Like, even though it's very far, but with your heightened presumptions for listening, you can hear some guards in the distance talking about, okay, that's the last of them. Uh, take them up to the Livest Livingsters. They'll be waiting. Uh, anything else you want to do as they loading you in or uh no I am Kalis is very quiet uh if people talk to him he doesn't even try to feign like looking in their eyes like he normally would for conversation to like make people feel more comfortable around him um He moves only when somebody is, like, making him move. Uh, he doesn't know how to handle this whole... What he just learned. Okay. You're eventually, you're taking back to your cage through the lower city. Uh, and... Uh, 
Rogak, uh, he's driving a car. He kind of leads back. It's like, so um, I, I think I know who purchased. You know, I'm not sure why they want dead bodies, but uh, want the noble the Livingstons, Livingstons, Stirs, uh, Edward and Nira. Nira. Or, oh, or I had I, I had Ira. Naira is N I R A. Okay, I didn't have the A. Uh, th- so apparently that deal was made before uh, your friends went to fight the blue dragon. So, is there any way? Is there any way you can get me into contact with them? With who? Your dead friends? With the people that bought my dead friends. I'll try. But what 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 would be your message? I want to know what they're doing with my friends' bodies. I know. I want to know what they're doing with Fane also. So, on her behalf, I'll do it for you. Thank you. And by the way, you earn me a lot of money for me betting on you. You have a special little something in your cage when I get back. I'm glad everybody here seems to find the taking of life just so joyful. I bet on you to win, not somebody to die. Isn't that the same thing? Touche. But that's the way things work in an arena, don't you know? People die every day. That's how people make money down here. And that's okay. That's right. It's the way we live down here. Not all of us can be as noble as you or have good hearts as you. Some people are shunned from the societies. Where else are we to go? I've been shunned from your societies and forced down here just by the color of my skin. So you turn your back on the light. You turn your back on everything that. What you makes have you so special? So what have you done? I'm not special. I killed a man today to save another person. I don't know if that equals out. To save another person that has died. How you feel about that? I just watched the love of my life die in the arena by a blue dragon. The most beautiful orc I have ever seen in my life. This place is just nothing but death. This world is nothing but death. Look around you. You think the the wars between the war nations and the drow... Hell, the fucking elves has cut off the rest of the world just because they're missing their fucking princess. Who gives a fuck? The world is not a a fair place. It could be. What, you think you're just going to save this whole world and leave peacefully? Is that not what we're supposed to do? (laughs) You haven't gotten out much, have you? I mean, you, no, have you but... not heard the rumors? Rumors? <laughs> the rumors says the five-headed bitch from Avernus is now on the world of Vetus. Has come to this world. How long do you think this war? How long you think this world is going to last with her here? If the rumors are true, I don't know if they're true or not. 
What's worse is the rumors say her champion's here too. So, <laughs> Ariella just living on borrowed time here. Or we could do something about it. You're just going to give up? Be Tell give yourself up? that I can't do anything to change the situation that you're in? Who says give up? You did. I was asking you. I'm not giving up. I'm not in chains. I'm here for a job. I mean, if you, you might can, you know, join the Black Order or something and we'll work for them. Well, Ashley, you got taken by them, so maybe you don't want to do that. They got a hefty price for your head. Do you realize how much they got? Something is, a, something is a coming. I just hope you're prepared for it. And you hope you're on the right side of humanity. Or this bullshit noble line you're trying to uphold. It's all fruitless in the end, don't you see? You just gotta have faith. Just like I used to tell Manny. And, it, like, talking about Manny, he kind of gets even more quiet and... You just go find out what those twins want. Well, I'm currently driving you back to your cage. I can't exactly do that right now. Kayla sits the rest of the right in silence. Does say, you mentioned gods. Who do you worship? <laughs> Lady Astaria. You know, you should worship. Who's that? To Tozak. You taste no prisoners guarantees you strength and strong you'll make it just good to hear you have faith it's not good to hear you worship the wrong god wrong god to you to which is on bye Eventually, you're led back to your cage. In, inside your cage, um, you have a couple more layers of wool now. And they don't bring you to the original cage. They bring you to the bigger cage that your friends once occupied. <coughs> you're in the bigger cage now. Okay. And there is a bottle of wine next to your bed. And then eventually they bring you a very nice hot meal. Rabbit stew. Uh, Kalis doesn't eat. Uh, but he takes his first drink of alcohol in his life. And imagine you're like, you probably had the very first serious wounds you've had in your life, too. Yeah. And I also killed a man for the first time. His friends are dead. Give me a constitution saving throw. That works. <laughs> Thank you, Garner, for the Risa scrub. 18. Would you like to give a vantage to 18? 
As you're drinking your wine, you feel where you're bitten at. And you feel a twitch in your shoulder as your hand and arm starts changing a little bit and you shrug it off. You might be wondering what the fuck that is. He kind of sets that arm down and kind of locks it to his side and continues to drink with the other. All right. Uh, anything you specifically want to do for you go to bed? Uh, nope. He's not going to sleep very well, so he's just going to try and get a little drunk. Well, you got a nice bed and a nice little pillow for you. Oh, comfort is not the issue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll kill the carrots now because you're not on that anymore. But did he get a toothbrush? That's the real question. Everything they had in the cage is still there. I'm using Glitch's toothbrush. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of turns is probably on that thing. <laughs> I feel like Glitch is the cleanest out of the three of them. It still was in somebody else's Damn. mouth. <laughs> Very damn. Okay. Yeah, you don't want the old lady germs from our one is. <laughs> All right. As our camera pans out of the Slaver's Bay cage, as Cadis tries to find some sort of rest. Don't take your long rest yet. We're not done yet. As we camera pans out of Great Chester Port. As the camera pans into a nice high grass meadow, bright blue skies with a few clouds and a bright sun. Eventually you see the camera spots a tall blonde Lady of Providence, as you're walking through a meadow and you feel yourself, you wonder if you're alive or dead. And as you look up at the sky and the sun, you see the image of Safrina face appear into the sun. As you're walking through this meadow, what do you do? Do I have my sword? Nope. You just have common clothes on. They're more uh, like, I will. They're like, it's, it's kind of like a sundress type deal. Uh, I will definitely reach back behind me and feel for my sword um, and kind of be a little sad uh, when it's not there. Um, and she'll look at her empty hand and she'll be like, Silfreda? Am, am I not your sword anymore? Am I? Did, I? did I fail you? I reveal myself to you. You're not quite felt, but you're in a middle state of life and death. So, what I need to know, do you have the will to keep going? Can I ask a question? Of course. Is Fane still alive? Did Fane die? She is not here. You are here. <laughs> she does not follow me. I I have followed you my entire life. I have I have done everything that I could. I I know that you want I know that you want your your followers to to take the sword and the shield and 
and protect, but also strike when needed. You're here to prevent wars and fights and skirmishes. And, and I have tried to do that. And I know, I know that I have been a little one-sided and I, I know that I fight a little bit more than I should, but I have always done so to stop fights and to protect people. But if Fane is dead, that means the only person I was actually trying to save has died and I have failed. And, and I don't understand for what. What, what was I fighting? A dragon in, in, a, in a cage? I, I wasn't stopping a fight. I wasn't stopping a war. I was fighting for entertainment. What, why? Why was I doing this? Why was I in this fight? Why was I supposed to fight this dragon? Why did you let Fane die? Why is not the question you should be asking. Is who? I, I don't understand. Who are you to become? Look inside yourself to decide who you want to be. What you go through now is the trials and tribulations that will lead you to who you will become. I will grant you the power you need. But the magic flows that I give you it has a wild nature to it because you're uncertain of who you're supposed to be. Who am I supposed to be? You're not ready for that information. You must seek it out on your own. Then I, ha- then I, ha- you have to bring me back. Let me come back. I will be stronger. I will be faster. I will, I will not let this happen again. I will, I will protect the people that need protecting. Please let me come back. I'm not the one holding you here. Then what do I need to do? Just wake up? Do I just need to stand up? Do I need to fight something? I can fight whatever you want me to fight. I have one question for you and then you can go back. What do you truly desire? I want to protect the people that I care about. That's what I desire. Very well. As the sun fades away, her image fades away, you feel a warm breeze across your face as your hair flaps through the wind. The warmth. As you can feel almost as like if A mother's kissing her babe on the cheek flow through your body. And the image fades. And it goes to black. Manny. You come to into this room with a crackling fire going in the fireplace. You're in a bed full of very slick sheets. Very comfortable room. And it's you feel like stiff, but also like your life was just returned to you. And you look down, you're completely naked. How much did I have to drink last night? He looks around for a wine bottle. It's, it's a very elegant room. There's like a window, a fireplace, and this very fancy bed with like uh, very engraved, delicate wood. You can just look over to the right. There's um, I always forget the name of. Maybe the ladies can help me out. There's like it's like a little thing you sit at. Do your Makeup and powder your nose and all that stuff. Uh, vanity. Vanity. A vanity. Yeah. yeah. You see a nice white vanity in the corner, nightly, nicely kept. Manny's going to kind of like check and, and, under and the bed. I should say, and I should say, the bed is like a king size bed. Is Manny alone in the bed? Yes. 
Uh, he's gonna like look under the bed first. See uh, nothing. And then he's going to slowly stand up and stretch. You see a note on the end table. He'll he'll make his way to the note, but first he's gonna check out the uh, the wardrobe. Uh, you're gonna go to the wardrobe, open it up, and look in. Yeah. Beautiful, elegant dresses. I don't know if any of these are going to fit me. <laughs> then he's going to go check the, uh, check the Then note. when you turn around and you see on the footlocker is your old clothes that you were wearing in your time of timely death. Um, Some charred, charred clothes full of blood and sweat. <laughs> no, they're freshly washed and folded. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, he'll put on some pants and check out the note. The note says, if I am, well, I'm going to read it like through the person wrote, but I'm not going to do that. So the note basically says, if I'm not here when you wake up, your clothes are made and I'll return soon. Is there anything Manny can tell from the handwriting? It's fairly elegant written. Like very fancy writing. He's going to look out the window. You see a side of a, a rock wall. Because you're oh, in I underground. Yeah, it's still <laughs> underground. It's still underground. <laughs> All right, so underground. You probably gather the windows just open to catch a breeze every now and then or something. Gotcha. And like, how far up? Like, is there a way to even get out the window? So it's so up close to the rock wall as it it forms around the house. You probably look, as you look up, you can see the rock wall kind of forms up around the roof of this building you're in. Gotcha. Mm. So climbing out the window, bad idea. Good idea. It's kind of like you haven't tried opening it yet. Yeah, but I mean, like, is it like a like a drop down? How far up is it? Where can he tell that much? You can't. Without trying, without opening window, and trying to stick your head out, you can't really tell that much. Uh, he'll open the window. It's locked. Mm. Yeah, right, he's looking at put, it, it definitely needs a key to unlock. Gotcha. He's gonna put on his clothes. Does he have his uh, magic gloves with him? Or oddly enough, they were never taken off because nobody could see him. Gotcha. Um, does he have his lock picks with him and his thieves? tools and all of that stuff and the just bag. Your regular clothes hey, she'll get dressed uh spend some time in the vanity fixing himself up trying to make sure he looks as good as possible maybe borrow a little bit of the like powder you know <laughs> spray <laughs> So you're going to smell like a woman right now. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> He'll test it out first. In the air. So he gets one that's kind of more on the neutral end. And then uh, <laughs> and then he'll uh, make his way to the door. Is that one locked as well? He's just going to test to see if it's locked or not. Yeah, it's locked. All right. Hmm. Uh, he's going to go ahead and pick the lock on the window with any tools or objects he can find in the vanity, like maybe the can of a comb or something. Give me an investigation check. That is a 13 total. You, What you find is more of makeup supplies. Not very any like tools. You won't really find anything sufficient enough to be able to pick a lock. You could probably you might think you probably break the window with something, but as far as like picking the lock on it, probably not. All right. Um, is there any books, any reading or writing utensils? Nope. He's gonna this just invest. Investigate the hell out of the room, looking for any kind of clues, anything that could possibly give him any kind of hint. You get about halfway it. trying to do this, and eventually you hear the door start to open. 
Okay, he's just going to sit super casually at the vanity. <laughs> the vanity? Okay. <laughs> uh, the door opens up, and what walks through? What who walks through is this beautiful blonde hair, very long, very elegant, probably the most expensive dress you've ever seen on somebody. It's a nice satin bluish green dress all the way down. Uh, fair skin, green eyes. She turns to you. Ah, oh, yo, wake. Glad to see you're okay. As she shuts the door and lots it behind her. Yeah. Uh, he tries not to flinch when she locks the door. And uh, it's so wonderful to see you as well. I'm much more welcome. Quick, out of this that. clothes. I didn't pay for you to be in clothes. Yeah, um, of course. Uh, do you prefer that I wear one of the dresses? I prefer you not to have anything on. <laughs> uh, Manny, like, uh, very seductively takes his torn clothes off. <laughs> well, they shouldn't be torn. They were all mended, so they were... Uh, all... Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, he makes a little performance out of it. <laughs> awesome. Now get out to bed. As you wish. Makes his way over. She starts taking everything off. We're going to have a fade to black scene here in a second. Unless you <laughs> right just... Before it gets too risque. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's anything, you, if you're trying to resist it, let me know. He's, oh, no, Manny. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what he's going to try to do is like, while they're having their moment, see if he can like whisper sweet nothings that will require answers that will let her know, let him know. Okay, what are your, what are your... He wants to know her name. Uh, he wants to know where he's After. at. But he's going to, he's not going to interrogate her. What he's going to do is like, he's like, I want to call out your name. Wait, what was that again? Or, you know, like sort of like, you know, like make it sound like it's sort of like in the moment sort of a situation. <laughs> Our witness is dead. <laughs> I didn't pay for you to talk during this. We can talk after. Enjoy the moment. Of course. Nothing I'd rather do than enjoy this moment. <laughs> then we'll fade to black and you can f have sex with this person. <laughs> <laughs> Poor, poor Silver. She's just dying over there. <laughs> Deshaun, you wake up. You you also, but you're fully clothed, obviously. You have your clothes on, but you have anything. You're not, you don't have shackles on or nothing. You just wake up in a cage. Like, it's more or less, uh, you know, you don't wake up in the normal cage that you were on Slaver's Bay. It's more like, in the back, um, the, there's jail cells, and next to you is going to be Glitch, and next to Glitch is going to be Arnus, and then next to Arnus is going to be Fame. And you all line up in four different cages in your own cages with a small cot, and that's uh, pretty much it. And... I was just say all four of y'all kind of wake up pro probably about the same time. And the cages have like an overhang and it kind of drops down into a, like a, as you look out, there's, it's like a courtyard in the back and then wrapped around is another wall. And like, there's another building out back. You can kind of gather that you're somewhere where uh, like some manor or something you've probably seen in your life or like an enclosed manor, like a backyard, so to speak, or something of a building that you're probably in. Are we naked too? No, you're not naked. Okay. You made a glitch. Can I push that button? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wake up and see each other. Okay. Again, really? 
Hmm? New, new cage, different day. I swear. <laughs> Is is Prue in sight? Nope. Um, I'm gonna quickly check my pocket for my mouse. You don't find your mouse. Uh, I'm going to be like running to any walls of my cage that are not directly against another cage and just trying to look everywhere. Okay. Make an investigation check. Ooh, those are intelligence based. Thirteen total. Thirteen? Higher low. I rolled a fourteen. Higher low. High. Always high. Ah, uh, seventy. You find a very stiff really starting to decompose rat underneath your cot. Does it have a fishbone sword that I gave to Cream? How, but you did attach it to it, right? Well, I, it kind of did. No, you don't not see the fishbone sword. But, but is it Cream? Like, I would recognize my mouse. Mm, give me a history check. That's also intelligence based. Why are you doing this? Because you're trying to figure oh, out that's, your... that's not a d20. That's a d10. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> uh, seven total. The amount of fussing that I've done over this mouse, <laughs> I would recognize my mouse. <laughs> okay, you roll with advantage. You can roll again. Add, add another one. That is worse. Oh, that is a three total. Um, looking at this mouse, seeing the only mouse, how would Fane feel about this? Would you truly believe it's your mouse? If you really wanting your mouse back, hoping it's cream. Um, if I thought it, well, you said it's a rat, but Fane is. Oh, did I say not. rat? I meant mouse. Okay. Um, if it looks close enough, then this mouse would be in my pocket and I would continue running back like to anywhere I could to an edge of the cage to try to look around for, for proof. Okay. Uh, what is everybody else doing as you see Fane frantically running around this small cage? Uh... I'd primarily be looking around, observing surroundings, um, checking pockets to see if I have anything. Uh, I'm assuming nothing. So, By the way, uh, if you've had any injuries whatsoever, any bruises or scars in your lifetime, they're completely healed. <laughs> Maybe mm -hmm. we're in the afterlife, guys. This is uh, this goes for everybody except for Providence and Kalis, obviously. Everybody else, uh, if you had any scars or any disfigurements or something like that, they are completely healed. Oh. So. I had a cool face one. We. Oh no! Die. By the way. And by the way, everybody, you see, uh, that reminds me, you see Fane, she don't have tusk anymore. Aww. She still has her green skin. Her hair is long and beautiful, and she no longer has tusk. So, do y'all want to have a conversation or not? <laughs> I'm just like pressing up against cage walls, looking and then running to the other side. And they, the you can look. Part. You can look through them. They're not like solid. Yeah. So how are you guys? Um, somehow alive. 
so tired. <laughs> Glitch rolls over and pulls the blanket over his head. Again? Dead tired, huh? Lazy bones. <laughs> Fane, how are you alive? Fane, how are you alive? It wouldn't he be alive? She left. Where is proof? I don't know. I uh, lost consciousness before her, so I have no idea. I saw everyone else go down. In your cage Where's with Manny? you. Where's Manny? That, probably I... hiding. That's what he does. <sighs> Who cares? What are you guys talking about? We're back at our cages like always. This, this isn't our cage glitch. Look around. These are different ones. They're new. Bit, bit fancier of you as well, mm -hmm. I guess. Wait, are our manacles on still? Nope, y'all do not have manacles on. Do we have the benefits of a long rest? That's a good question. Yes, you do. Okay. Here we go. All right. Same thing for Manny. You have a benefit of a long rest. Even though she didn't let him rest much, <laughs> like he had two levels of exhaustion. Just lie there. <laughs> <laughs> Pro tips. Ooh, long rest. Oh. You yeah. also. Every, while you're in these cages, you also see a very few. Uh, uh, mm, you see guards have posts, and you also see a couple of guards at the end of the cages, like at the entrance and stuff, kind of posted and all that. So, so you don't have medicals on, but you still under guards, like guards, um, just, like surveillance. Yeah, guard surveillance. There you go. Okay. Is is there a specific entrance to the cages? Like, is there a door? You have a cage door to everybody's in their own separate little cage. You have okay. your own cage door, and it goes to the very end. And you look out into the. So it's like a small half rock wall in front of the cages, and you can walk down and walk around out into the open area. Okay. Courtyard, kind of. Courtyard, there you uh, go, yeah. And I'm probably going to start Eldritch Blasting doors trying to get out and look for Prue. <laughs> you going to Eldritch Blast doors? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it even locked? <laughs> What's the damage? We're in a cage. I faded. How, how many times are you Eldritch Blasting? Uh, until doors are open or until something happens to stop me. All right. Uh, do your first Eldritch Blast and roll your damage. Do, do you want me to roll an attack or just damage? Because it's a door. Yeah, just roll damage. Okay. And that is a... Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> 11 points of damage. You take 11 points of damage as this Eldritch Bass bounces off the door right back into your face. And you bounce off the other side. Ow! I'll just run up and try to, like... Shoulder it. Okay, so magic no. does work. Magic sure. works just fine. It just hurts. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, okay. Yeah, with a negative two to my strength, I assume I don't do anything with my shoulder. Nope. But no, nope. yeah. Right. Uh, I'll just start going wild, running. You can roll. Uh, anybody that witnesses can roll an Arcana check. I. Running wall to wall, climbing a bit, just looking. Sitting up by then. With all 14. Noise. Ooh. Thir what'd you get? A 14. 14. Glitch or... I just got a 23. I got a 10. 10. It's uh, so glitch with your 23. Um, it's almost kind of like... You can't quite figure out exactly what it is, but it's almost kind of like an anti-magic... It's almost kind of like their shackles, but it's more of a like a force bubble, some deal that can't be like penetrated. I'm gonna try and cast. I'm gonna cast Mage Hand 
uh, and see what happens when it goes past the the bars. You cast Mage Hand just fine right in front of you, but as soon as it goes to the bars, it vanishes. Okay. Hmm. No magic. Great. You can cast magic within your little <laughs> bubble. Okay. Huh. I mean, better than not having it at all, honestly. Uh, so, a glitch will finally get out of bed and look around. <laughs> Test the door to the cage. Be Very locked. solid. Hmm? Okay. If you look at it, there is no lots. There's no keyholes. Uh, and with your 23, uh, you know, a probably a certain spell might be able to. Would be the not spell. Might would open it. Yep. <laughs> but that'd be about it. But y'all can have a conversation if you like. If you don't want to have a conversation, I can pan back over to somebody else. Let's look around again. It's like, where are we? Um, sort of manner-ish. There's a courtyard. It's nicer than where we were, but no idea on this one. And then he also wanted the guards. Hey! Hey! You over there! What? Where the hell are we? You're at the Living Stars. The You're Living... The Who? Don. Edward, Edward and Naira Livesters. Uh oh, right. They pay for you. You're the new recruits. Huh? Huh? Uh, excuse you. Look here, little man. I am not in the mood to play. Listen, old woman. I'm just here to keep I watch. I don't even look that old, so don't give me that shit. That's not what the maester said. <laughs> Jesus. Or the cleric. That's not what the cleric said. They said you're a hell old. No, I'm not that fucking old. Maybe you're just too young and doesn't know how to do shit. Yeah, catch a break. Well, at least I'm smart than you to fight a blue dragon and not die. Uh, we're alive. Yeah. The owners here have paid a lot of money and supplies and resources to bring y'all asses back to life. Would they have paid for you for, for your life? Uh huh. Ooh. I'm not. I wasn't the one dead. Exactly. That's what I thought. You're making no sense. I think. Oh yeah, and we're the ones who got who they paid to bring back to life. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just work here, man. They were fresh out of gladiators and they needed some more. I mean, me. I guess you come the morning, you'll find out. Do you know where the, the tall one is? The, the one she was with us. I'm like I'm... climbing the cage to... Well, she's the okay. only one alive, and they had her, took her somewhere else. I don't know where. Can you find she out where? No, okay. She was the only one alive and breathing when y'all came here. It, we're, we're all alive. Like, you were dead. Where? The clarets brought you back with some powerful magic. You were dead. So, but where, where is she? I just said I don't know. They took her somewhere else. Hun, where's the other one? And he ch and he just turns and walks off because he's sick of answering the same fucking question. Can you find out where she is, please? So everybody else can get mad at Fame for driving the guard away. <laughs> is there more guards? That was the closest one by the entrance to this little area. 
You can see more, even from this angle, you can see more. There's like a catwalk above the manor or above the courtyard that peop the guards patrol. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, can I stick my arm out outside the cage? Sure can. Ooh. And then he's going to try casting Mage Hand. See what happens. You're shoved back into the cage. <laughs> Give me a dexterity saving throw. Uh oh. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Uh, you get pushed back and you take... Oh, one point of bludgeoning damage as you shoved on your ass on the ground. Smooth Kinda glitch. ow. Smooth. Oh, that doesn't work. Very smooth. You're not trying anything. <laughs> Worth a shot. Okay, after we watch Fane just kind of blast herself, it's kind of obvious that the stupid cage is just like the manacles. I bigger. did not blast myself. I blasted the door and then it, it was rubber. Mm -hmm. I did it outside the cage. Mm. Oh well. I, I can think of, but I don't think it will work. Is mm. there any water in the cage? Hmm? Is there any water in the cage? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just, now that I know that at least she's alive, I'm just gonna go and kind of slump down on the floor next to a thing of water and just start making shapes with it. Okay. Well, you can cast and control water? Um, I, I renamed it, but yes. Okay. Uh, shape water, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's called it's shape water, the cantrip. Yes. Oh, water's a uh, first level. It's it's no, it's a cantrip. It's yeah. It's I think it's called weird water on my character sheet now. I hate when people do that. Oh, don't look at my sheet. <laughs> Just whenever you do cast them in game, say what they actually are, so sure. I know what. I, I think it's just sheet water. It's the cantrip. Yeah. You don't know what Oompa Loompa Bang means? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be able to look up the spell it's real spell if I need to <laughs> yep. this right. I don't have. oh that's the last question do I have my hair yeah you have your hair still on my head somehow it was glitch bald well actually You do not have that magical item anymore. You have your real hair back that you once had. Oh. Uh, what about me? Is my tiara you, still on you, my head? Yeah. Okay. Oof. Um, you guys would notice that uh, Glitch's hair looks different. It's not his normal styling is it what was your true color of your original like your before you went bald glitch uh it was crap i never you gotta let me think <laughs> hair, i have white but that was just might have been the wig that was the wig but you no longer need the wig because oh. you have your your hair came back yeah, we'll you were a, a light brown Okay. Uh, you do see Glitch has light brown hair now, different from white, and it's looks, if anything, looks more natural than the other one, other hair that he had. Uh, Glitch, your hair. It used to be long again. <laughs> Glitch brown. will tug on it. 
What the hell? It, it's brown. Yeah, it's brown. You tug on his actual real hair, it's not the wig anymore. <laughs> cool. So you can remove that from your inventory. It's no longer there. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Get rid of that. Just going to look at everybody else. Let's see if anything changed with them. Jean's feathers are no longer gray. The grayness came out of the feathers. Why are you looking at me weird? Your feathers are no longer gray. Hmm? Hmm. I guess I do feel younger. All right. I'm, I'm kind of happy with this, actually. This... At least one of us is happy with it. Yeah. All right. What did they do to us? We'll just wait around and see if someone comes back to talk to. All right. Mm. Uh, it's it's late evening, so you can probably just fall back and sleep and go back to sleep if you like, or if you want to continue having a conversation about something. But it is late evening. So, to what extent do we have our stuff? Just have your clothes, and then, um, of course, you still have your rock vein because yeah. that never goes away. Uh, Arnis, you still have your tiara. Um, okay. Like, no uh, cards, no book. You're not sure where your cards or your book is right now. Um, lost my train of thought. Uh, trying to remember what all you guys have for your starting items uh john what was your starting item was that the armor is that no that was last time i had the starting item now is the uh uh the instrument all the instrument your instruments in the corner by the way oh cool all right um that being said if y'all want it are y'all good you want me to move on to somebody else Yep, I'm, I'm good. good. Yep, I'm just sitting there waiting. Yep. All right. Providence, as you're released back from your vision, as you eyes glitter up, you wake up in a fancy bed as well, and you see crackling fire in a fireplace. It's definitely looks like a like a more like a guest room if anything. And um it's not like a vanity or anything like that. It's more of a dresser, just standard room stuff and the wardrobe. Uh, I'm not here for a Manny ask ask <laughs> am I? <laughs> uh you are in like a night nightgown, but you're not completely naked or anything. Do I still have my emblem, the the emblem from uh, Sylphrena, the magic item? If you look over an end table, it's kind of like hanging on uh, over like a little, hmm, I want to say lamp, but there's not lamps here. So uh, actually, there's an ever burning lamp and it's kind of hanging around it. Uh, yeah, so she will kind of like open her eyes and she'll just like whisper to the to the, to the world, she's like, "Still friend, thank you." Uh, and then she's gonna look around immediately for Fane. Does she, does she see Fane? Nope. So she'll start calling out, "Fane, Fane, are you there? Where Fane? Fane!" And she's gonna be literally getting out of the bed and screaming for Fane as loud as she can, just Fane. Uh, as you start screaming. An individual walks through the door and shuts it and locks it behind him. 
Oh, thank God you're thank God you're alive. Where's Fane? As you see, uh, probably like a long black hair, uh, rigid chin, very good looking male, green eyes. Looks at you and says, why are you yelling? There's no need to be yelling. How far away is this person from me? He just came in the door, so he's probably like 15, Way on 20 the other feet. Side of the room. Yeah, on the other side consumption of the room. immediately. I'm just sparkling brightness right now. And my eyes are glowing. And I am just going to start screaming for where is my friend? Where is my friend? Where is Fane? Where is Fane? If I have to, I will cast Thaumaturgy, ah, which ah, I ah. may. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Shh. Who's Fane? Where? She's the orc. Where's the orc? Where's my orc friend? She's alive. You need to calm down. Stop. I don't want to call the guards in here, but stop. She will calm down, but I, I don't know if I can control the radiant consumption. Uh, actually, give me a wisdom save to see if you even... Because you're not able to control it yet. So let me... See. Give me a wisdom say see if you even at nights first. Eleven. Nope. Nope. Eight. Eight. It, it does not at night. But you even in your mind you swear you have knighted it. But he's just like there, but nothing's on fire, nothing no radiant damage is happening. You but you actually believe that you have ignited it, but it has not been triggered. Uh, th- thaumaturgy is still up and she'll be still she she would have been yelling and, and her eyes would have been glowing from the thaumaturgy still like I understand that you're upset she, but calm where, down please I, I need you to help me find her I need to find her I need she, I need to know she's okay I she's the only thing that matters to me right now I, I'd like to know what happens to the rest of my friends but but, but where is she she'll be with my re- the rest of my friends but I need to know where she is she is alive. She is down in the manor. Can you take me to her? You have to answer some questions first. I need to see her. I don't, don't make. I don't. I don't want to hurt you, but I. I will. I will go through you to get to her. I'd like to see you try to hurt me, but please don't. Will you, I get you, to see her soon? You. You're the only. Listen. You're the only one that was alive. When you were brought here. There's like a little bit of proudness. Where where is she? And you were too far beautiful to have you not in this lovely room. Have I ever seen a room of this quality before, knowing knowing my backstory? Mm. Only the nicest place you've been at would be the temple. And now it's more religious. This is just a fancy, nice room. Very nice. And this you were laying on pure silk. Uh, she's probably just now realizing she does not have her armor on and she's wearing, which is more. Formal. You don't have medicals on either. And and she's wearing a nightgown. She's wearing a, you're wearing a nightgown. Uh, you still have your bruises and everything. And you probably have a little bit of uh, lightning burn. Up the up your left arm, but it's been mostly bandaged up a, as much as it can. So you have a little bit of scarring from that last fight. It'll probably go away. All scars seem to go away on me. Okay, okay, fine. I will. I will answer your questions. I just promise you'll take me to my my friend as soon as possible. Please, please, it's very important. I need to find her. Well, how about you lay back down? You've been through an ordeal. I'm not going to lie down. I'm fine. Very strong. Let's, let's just let's just answer some questions. And I paid a lot of money for you and your friends, so please lie down. What do you mean paid? Is this the person that was sitting above the stadium? Oh, actually, he, he was one of them, but not the one that was calling the fights or anything. Right. He was the, the one that I called to and said, this is for you. 
I did that at right before the battle. To who though? Who was whoever was sitting in kind of like the balcony seats right above the entrance? Oh, there was a bunch of people up there, so I'm not sure exactly who you're talking to, but he was definitely one of them. I don't remember who you said specifically to. I think it was yeah. specifically the Living Stars, but I, I don't know who they are. Yeah. Well, he was definitely one of them, so you could probably think that you it was you. Well, it was him. Sorry. Uh, do I? Um, I think she notices that she doesn't have her her emblem, so she's gonna walk over to the, to the lamp and grab it on her way back to the bed, and then put it back on. Okay. And she'll do that as an act of defiance, but she'll get back on the bed. I'm going to sit, not lie down. Well, if you need your vest, be more than welcome to stay in here. Um, we were approached by some individuals saying that uh, the Craven spoke highly of you and your friends. Oh, the crazy guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Eh. Uh, we had a few of our gladiators die and we needed to replenish our ranks. And uh, saw the opportunity. We made the purchase before. You, I don't know whose idea it was for you guys to fight a blue dragon, but we made the purchase beforehand, and it cost a great deal to bring you guys back. So, uh, they did they actually die? I I heard our I, I heard the, the the old elf lady say that uh, that my orc wasn't my orc friend wasn't that that Fane that she said that Fane wasn't wasn't responding to healing. Did, did she die? You're the only one that lived. And you were on death's door. I mean, going down by a dragon's kind of cool. If it wasn't for us perching, they would have ate, the dragon would have ate you. I, I think that would have been a fun death. I don't know what fun it be is to be eaten by a dragon. I mean, better than being eaten by a rat. Hmm. Well, what, what do just... you need to know? Give me a perception check. Sure. Uh, I wish I had good stats in that. He's going to roll with disadvantage. 21. Nice. As you, as he, as you're looking at him, um, he has beet red cheekbones and he's doing one of these things, filling with his hands. Just, like you can definitely tell he's nervous talking to you. Um, you were just so beautiful. I, di I didn't want to put you in a cage. You know I'm dangerous, right? So is love. Love is dangerous. <laughs> I have a pirate friend. She would say the same. Well, the Black Order does operate out of here, so maybe that's you're talking about but anyway um so take all the time you need the rest um no time needed uh, you're still very hurt i'm i am very stuck i'm very i'm very tough look i can heal myself healing hand two points of healing <laughs> Didn't you use that already? You specifically said everybody gets a long rest. I said everybody that was resurrected. Oh, fine. She does said, this and she pretends to be healthier. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll a deception check. <laughs> He rolled, his, he rolled a natural 20, so good luck. <laughs> I have a plus one. It could happen. Oh. No. Okay. You, you still need much rest. But if you're feeling up to it, 
may I take you to dinner and we can have a nice conversation? I will go for dinner with you if we stop by and see my friend. I assure you, there's, she's resting and she is fine. That is the only condition in which I will go to dinner with you. Oh. But of course, I will take you to see your friend after dinner. Before dinner. Uh, Reginald! I wouldn't be... Reginald, can you come in here, please? Yes, Lord Livester. Uh, this cleric comes in um, in like fine black and green clothing. And uh, can you please uh, sh- show Miss uh, Providence, correct? Is that your name? That's what I was told. Miss Providence. Providence is my name. Uh, her. F- friend uh fane it was uh the orc can you please show her the orc but of course mr Livester. and then uh he summons a magical projection of fane and the bed kind of or actually where fane's at you see fane behind a bucket of water shaping water i see your face swords and boomerangs can I, can I see her face? Yeah, you can see hers. Like she's literally sitting there. Providence isn't smart. She's gonna start yelling. She's gonna be like, "Fang!" Any response? No, no response. <laughs> I, I assure you that she cannot hear. You. This is just a projection projection of what she is right now. I wanted to see her in person. I am sorry I was not clear. Can can I see her in person after dinner? But of course. I'm no monster. Thank you. She's like kind of like clawing at her her nightgown. Mm-hmm. Clawing at your nightgown? Yeah, she doesn't like this. Do you, I can do you see you any- do not Yes. Yep, uh, he waltz over and opens up a line of dresses. Uh, there is a golden dress, a green dress, a beautiful red satin dress, and a um, very pink dress. Choose any one of these and uh, let the guard know outside when you're ready. Do you have any breeches and, and a tunic? This is going to be a fancy dinner. Dinner. You can have clean breeches. Oh, this is <laughs> this is going to be a fancy dinner. Okay. okay. I'm going to get dressed up for it, too. Oh, if you hear any kind of screens from that store, don't worry. It's fine. I'm sorry, what? If you hear any screams to the wall, I assure you it's not something bad. This is totally a red flag on a first date, I swear. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, wait. Did I okay, did I see any anybody else in that mirror or in in the the projection? No, the projection was just Fane. Can are are my other friends that fought with me? You said they're okay as well. They're with Fane. Yes. All of them. Yes. And and what about um, there? There was a blind a blind man. He he very strong. Um, he fought. Uh, I know in, who you're in, talking about. I know you're talking. Is he okay? About. Could, uh, don't know where he is at. We cannot purchase him. Somebody has already paid for him. But he would be alive then. Last we seen, he was alive. He won his fight. Right. Thank you. But of course, uh, um, 
But you know, bring in a vanity so uh, Miss Providence can use it. And eventually, a couple guards bring in a vanity for you to use. Uh, freshen up and uh, let the guard know when you're ready. And we'll have dinner started. Uh, the moment he leaves, she's going to be looking around at the windows, at the door. To There's no windows out, like, in this room. She's going to be looking at every single crack to see if she can push a wall down. She's going to be looking for any possibility for escape. But she will go along for the dinner. Red satin dress. Um, Providence, give me a perception check. Like that. With disadvantage or advantage? Then you straight roll. See how I didn't give you the option of straight roll? Uh, 60. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you hear, ah, yes! Ah! From the wall. From the other side of the wall. It was definitely gonna, a female. He's gonna, sorry, who was yelling? It was a sorry, female was voice. It? it was definitely was it? a pleasure, a scream of pleasure. It was a really high pitched nanny voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's she she's been around the block. She knows what those sorts of sounds are. She steps away from the wall. Um. Um, and I guess she's gonna get ready for dinner. Um, what dress are you she, picking? The, the red satin. Okay. With the golden hair. Um, and then just because of her, her her ASMR nature, she doesn't really need to get ready. She's just always gorgeous. All right. Yeah. This is this is my fantasy world. Okay. <laughs> The special ability in the ASMR description does not exactly. need to brush hair. Exactly. It's just perfect all the time. Perfect. She smells good. It's there's like, pretty. There's like Never. wind blowing in your hair all the time. Even yeah, like the, closed room. the right amount of wind, not enough to be like... Distracting? Yeah, it's perfect. Just a gentle breeze. It pushes the hair away from the face. Brings it all right. As the camera pans out of your room, Providence, it pans over to a dark room as if it comes into as the deed has been done. Many are laying there and she gets up and says, I thought that was wonderful. I'm going to have to do that again. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. And they bring in a nice, very silk, very fine clothes. We're going to dinner. Get dressed and freshen yourself up. You can use the vanity here. If I might make one more request, and I hate to ask a request of someone who's done so much, and I mean so much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I have been dying to write a letter to a, a loved one for some time. Uh, my signet rings with my things, but if there's any chance I could take a moment to pen a, pen a letter, I would. She leans forward and wraps her me. finger down to the side of your face. A fairy of course, darling. Don't worry. You will be happy to take the letter for you. Go ahead and get dressed. Thank you. In these fine oh. clothes. We're going to dinner. We're going to dinner with my brother. Absolutely exciting. And must I say, this outfit looks ravishing, as do you. Your aura. Have you ever, in fact, gotten a reading? Psh, she backhands you and take a point of <laughs> bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Oh, right. Stop it, you. Done enough. I'm going to go get ready for dinner, and you can get ready for dinner, too. Um, He is going to try to have, like, before they stopped, he was going to try to discreetly cast an Asian, if possible. Uh, his is invisible. His is an arcane trickster. Okay. Um, and if she leaves... Um, give me an athletics check. All right, athletics. That's a nineteen, which is good because I have a plus zero. <laughs> you want to guess what I just rolled? What did you roll? A natural twenty. <laughs> oh no! So, in the heat of pleasure, she pins you down, and your hands are trapped. During I wasn't able to cast a mage hand. No, nope. because because uh, it's vertical and somatic, right? Verbal and somatic. Uh, let me see just a second. 
Mage hand is verbal and somatic. That is correct. Yeah. So you would probably be able to use your well if you if you're trying like, to. God, I know well, it should be definitely questioning what kind of words you're trying to say, but your hands are definitely tied from the heat of pleasure. Gotcha. Um, all right. Well, I guess he'll do it the old-fashioned way. Is she uh, is she leaving him alone in the room, or how is this working out? She told you to get dressed, and she shut the door and locked it. Uh, I was going to try to pick her. Oh, and she pocket. says, uh, dude, let the guards know when uh, you're a betty. You're going to try to pit pocket a naked woman? Uh, when she locks the door, she's got the key. So what he was going to try to do was uh, mage hand and, and pick the key from her pocket uh, before she finishes. Well, she never it. puts it in her pocket. Okay. She keeps it in her gotcha. She locks it and shuts the door. She, she locks it from right. the outside. She locks it from the outside. Okay, got it. Yeah. yeah. So there's really an opportunity to do that. Yeah. All right. He will get dressed, I guess. <laughs> and he's going to make sure. He, he doesn't look naturally beautiful all the time like Providence. So <laughs> but she gave you access to the vanity if you were like. <laughs> yeah. He'll look for some more cologne again, uh, maybe take a bath and uh, try out the clothes. Like he just has one option, uh, but he'll try to make it as stylish as possible. Uh, and uh, once he's also going to take one more scan of the room really quick to see if there's anything that he could potentially use like uh, as an improvised weapon, as a box pick. Uh, Maybe a yeah. hairbrush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, should I roll for that? Or I It'd be about the only thing you can find for like it could be me yeah. to use as a weapon is a hairbrush. Yeah, so he was like, what I was thinking is maybe he could, you know how hairbrushes have these spines? Maybe he could rip off a couple of the spines and then potentially use them to pick a lock later or something. That's his. Well, oh, so it's not. Sp- it's not like those. Those are like the hairbrush is more of a uh, elegant steel. Ah, uh, gotcha. So you yeah. can really rip them up. I mean, right, they're, uh, they're, you could probably rip them up, but they wouldn't be designed to what you're trying to use with them. You want to say? Yeah. 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 Well, I guess if it doesn't look like it will help him, even like pick a lock with a disadvantage or something uh if he thinks he might be able to possibly use them then sure but if not he'll just leave it yeah you probably wouldn't think to be i would say was it flexible enough to do what you're trying to do with them that makes sense gotcha, gotcha. um and so yeah once he's all ready he will gently knock on the door All right, if you're ready, all right. I'll pan over to Kalis as you're trying to sleep. As your dreams take you, you find yourself flying through the sky, stars. And then as as you're flying through the sky, this moon pops in front of you. You feel the presence of Staria around you. My lady? Yes, my dear, I am here. I sense much distress in you. Today was a hard day. I understand, my dear. I I know you said that I have to do what I must to get out of here. Yes, I, I did. I'm, I'm trying. I, I really am. What did you do? I killed a man. I know. 
and ye wish to thank you for it. Look over here, and you hear her voice shift to over here to another star. As you look at the star, you can see the image of the individual that you killed. He wished to be a part of the stars with me, so he is here. You granted him what he wanted. So do not feel sadness. When Kalis is like looking at that star, he's going to be looking around to see if he can see any other stars that might be Manny. And you you would do no <laughs> only only people that worship Asteria gets a star. Yeah, I know, which is why he's looking for Manny. No, you do not see one for Manny. He's like his prayer sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I also lost my friends today and I I fear to do this alone you will find a way you must stop her She wishes, she wishes to put out the light forever. At this, he kind of like stands up a little bit straighter. Is it? The five-headed one? Five-headed one? I, uh, she I definitely told- has white hair, red eyes. The one that took you. You must stop her. She is about to bring something demonic to this world. You must stop her, for she does. I think I might have a lead on at least where I can find her. You must hurry. The light is fading. Yes, my lady. I will keep the stars And be prepared. You might have to kill again. I know. And as the camera pans around, you see yourself free standing in the cloud or in the stars. The moon bats out of the view of the picture. And this bright blue cyan color explodes from your eyes as you fall back to sleep. And that's where we'll take our break for tonight, guys. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. And uh, we'll resume, guys. Uh, stick around for some clips. Uh, thank you, everybody that's been coming in, saying hello. Thank you, Drogon. And uh, everybody else that's been here hanging out. Lady M, I did see you. But thank you for hanging out. Uh, we love you guys, and we'll be back. Welcome back. Sorry we were talking about something during the break, but we are back. Um, as we come back in. 
uh, Providence and Manny, you knock on your doors when you're ready. The guards escort you to the dining room. As they escort you, this house is fucking gorgeous. Oh, the instant Manny sees Providence, he's like, <gasps> "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> well, actually, y'all don't. They're, y'all not coming down together. Oh. I guess I should establish it. So Providence, uh, uh, Providence, you were going to use some stuff to make yourself a little bit more nicer anyway. So Providence was, and you were still in the middle of doing the deed anyway. So Providence is is probably escorted out first all the way down to the dining room. Um, and this place looks immaculate. Like there's ever glowing light uh, casted on these lanterns and st- or uh, not lanterns, candles. And they escort you all the way down to the kitchen, not kitchen, shit, dining room. Dining room. It's a good by, like it's a good like 15, 20 foot massive uh, dining room table and you're sit there and escorted to sit yes I have questions question one. Oh, I shouldn't have a watch on sorry question one it's a fantasy uh, um, does uh, does does the fancy dress that I'm wearing does it have pockets this is yes. really important <gasps> oh my gosh am I seeing really good food as we're passing by Food coming down the stairs, go into the kitchen. I mean, yeah. I keep saying kitchen, dining room table. Yeah, is there like any food in the table? Not yet. The moment I see food, I'm taking some. It's going right into my pockets. Okay. Well, they're not going to serve till everybody's there, so. I have so much food. And they're sit down and, and uh, their servants all dressed nicely, standing by the, uh, the doors to the kitchen. And eventually Manny is brought down and set. I'm really, could I try something before I get brought down possibly? <laughs> what? Um, Only you. <laughs> just, just, just before he's knocking, he wants to cast Mage Hand. And then he's going to try to Mage Hand pickpocket the guy who opens the lock of the key uh, of that guard like as they're walking down the down the hallway and then have his mage hand slide it into his pocket. So the possible. problem is when it is unlocked, you're not going to see where the key goes. They're going to unlock it, put the key away, then open the door. He'll like try to size him up and make his best guess and, and give him a pickpocket. Because there's going to be two guards and then that open up and bring you down. Okay. I mean, the mage hand is invisible. So all he's got to do is like try to figure out where it is and then Try to find a way to discreetly slide it without the other one seeing. Okay. Um, make an investigation check. And there's one in 50 oh, chances. Well, let's, let me know which one you're looking at. Uh, I'll look at the one that is closest to me as we're walking. And that is a 26. I rolled a 19 for a total of 26. Uh is stuffed under the armor that he has on yeah. and I mean is there a chance I can try to slide of hand it with my mage give me a slide of hand check uh, 24 24 I rolled a natural 17 to get a total of 20 and you're able to pocket what you believe the key would be. That's nice. He doesn't like even respond. Like he just kind of is very casually doing it, <laughs> making conversation with the guards. I really love that arm. It goes so well with that. This place is absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> As he's walking along and discreetly the key just kind of floats into his pocket. Fucking even a natural 17 was a nine of the so stupid. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. And um, the cards don't really respond too much. They're kind of just like the more thinking. So like, what's wrong with this guy? It's weird. And then eventually you're brought into an elegant dining room with uh, red drapings and, 
red satin seat or set. I keep want to say satin. No. Red uh, red leather seats at the dining room table. You see Providence sitting on one side, and they sit you on the opposite side of her, so you all seeing each other. Do I actually see him? Yeah, yeah, y'all see each other. Immediately yelling out as loud as I possibly can. <laughs> Uh, he'll like give her a nice like formal hug. So good to see you, Providence. <laughs> yeah, she will pick him up and like squeeze him <laughs> off the ground oh, as tight oh, as she can. She, hold on, hold on. You, you're sitting down already, Providence. They bring him into the room and he's sitting by his back to the door. So if you're trying to run, they'll be like, no, 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 you cannot. They, then I, I just know. continue shouting. Okay. You're alive. You are alive too. It's a wonderful. Oh yeah, I didn't die. <laughs> Are you sure? Because you looked like you were about to. I mean, it was just you and the dragon. Yeah, that was then, fun. Manny, as you're looking, like, uh, her right arm has a little bit of uh, lightning damage. A little bit burnt, a little bit. Ouch. That looks absolutely horrid. I'm, I'm glad you're proud of it, though. It, it, it'll make an excellent battle scar. You wear it absolutely wonderfully. Thank you. I hear Fane is, every, Fane is okay. And I think yeah. everyone else is too. Do you know what's happened to Kalis? Did they bring him too? I asked. He's still he's still back in 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 the place we were in 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 the cages. Somebody else bought him. And remember, I'm him? just I'm literally yelling this out as loud as possible. Yeah, you see him kind of like rubbing his neck a little bit, like he's. We'll find him. Like... Don't worry. I, I'll take care of him. I, I'm sure you will. I have a hundred percent faith in you. I'm worried about you, though. Why, why aren't you with the rest of them? What were you I, doing? I don't know. I, I Whenever I asked the question, she just kind of put a finger in me like this. I wasn't really... Uh, Who was putting a to, finger in your mouth? I, I, it was a friendly finger. Don't, don't get me wrong. But it, it, there was no opportunity to uh, to ask him questions. I, I don't even know who sh she is or where we are at the moment, to be honest. Okay. Do you know? I I think they're the living stars. Oh, that would make sense. Yes, now now it's making a bit more sense. I think they bought us. Yeah, yeah. Much more pleasant to be owned by the living stars, I suppose, than to be owned by the black water dragon. I suppose you're right. We should still find a way out of here, though. Uh, you hear in her in your mind telepathically. That's an excellent idea, but let's not say that out loud. Can I communicate this way? Uh huh. No, can I it's only one way. Yeah, you can try to think back, but he can't hear you unless he casts a spell uh, in order to do it. So he can only for like freely talk into your mind, but he has to use his like once uh, like once a prolonged rest ability in order to hear what you're saying. She's yeah. gonna she's gonna pick up on that you're sending a message and she's gonna be like concentrating and she's gonna be shouting in her mind. That's a good idea. You hear like back, like she can see he can see that you're doing this. Like, <clears throat> <laughs> Providence, my dear, there's no need to be shouting. We, we can but he all... can't hear me if I don't shout. He's literally sitting near across the table from you. You're fine. Oh, okay. She has so much energy. She's very excited. I it's just the dragon. To be here. Yeah, and um, after having fun, dragon. Uh, yeah, probably, he comes in and his hair is now tapered back into like a fancy man bun, and he's lots in this like black solid suit type deal, and he sits down, and then uh, the your lady friend Manny walks in, blonde hair all dialed up and. In a fancy pinkish dress, and sits oh, right next to you. When she comes, like he'll stand up to pull her chair out. Thank you, my darling. Beautiful, and uh, you're absolutely ravishing tonight, my dear. <laughs> and um, Edward is uh, the one who comes up and kneels down and kisses uh, Providence on the cheek, if you allow it. But she does not. She will back away. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I overstepped. Okay. My apologies. Ah, glad to have this lovely dinner. Uh, 
my sister, I assume you got along well with our guests. Yes, he was quite splendid. As uh, she puts her hand under the table on your leg. Uh, so we're going to have a course, nice course f- uh, three meal. Uh, first, it's going to be the appetizers. It's going to be natural, fresh trout wrapped up in these little rolls. Basically sushi. Uh, <laughs> brains out. And then uh, we'll top it off with uh, a nice full course meal with uh Uh, Aren't you going to be testing your fancy food knowledge? Yeah, I don't know. Just, just I, had my, I had it in my head and it just went over there somewhere. And it went Roast right on my head. Duck, no, Heron confit. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, then to bring out this uh, for the second main part of the meal is going to be freshly cooked at speak. Uh, also, Providence also, is literally taking pieces of food and putting them into her pocket. Well, they haven't brought it out yet. She, he's telling oh. you what y'all gonna have. Somewhere, a voice whispers in Manny's mind, "Don't eat uppy. Don't eat uppy." <laughs> I was waiting for a response out of Rotator on that one. <laughs> I'm blocking it out. Dramatic. Dramatic. <laughs> and then we'll have a nice dessert. Um, but yes. Uh, so glad you guys joined us and thank you for entertaining my sister. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. We can't What do you mean? Uh, she and I were acquainted a little bit earlier after having recently been uh, apparently. Did you tell him that he's been brought from back from the dead yet? I mean, he knows he died, right? Or, or does he not? No, he has not been told that, actually. Yeah. After, you know, the backing out in the arena, it wasn't very... Well, I think... No, Providence told you, didn't she? I don't think she did. Did you? I will. (laughs) (laughs) He has no idea that he's been dead. (laughs) Yeah, if you say blackout, she will interrupt. Okay, yeah. You can interrupt. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Manny, you were dead. Like... Yeah, but of course, you, you you were dead. It cost great deal of money and resources to bring you back. Dead. Wow. No wonder. Think about that, Manny. You you were like a guy who died by a dragon and still lived. Yeah, I, I, we'll have to talk about that later. You and Fane shouldn't be allowed to make major decisions from now on. I think. Don't know when what you mean. We might need to be more strategic in our picking our battles. Did we really have much of an option? Yeah, it was it was either that or something else equally lethal, I think. But yeah, maybe the maybe the dragon provides some choices. I, I, I will I will trust your judgment. Wow, I can't believe it. No wonder my ability to see the great beyond is expanded. I'm not sure about that, but there was a lot of great money and resources provided to bring you back. It even healed up the scars that you have had once before. Yeah, he sort of like gently touches her hand. I can't thank you enough to owe you my very life. You can thank me later tonight, stud. He brushes like he does his best to cry. Can I do a performance or reception check? Uh, performance for what? Yeah, he's gonna try to fake cry like he's really tired. Oh, fake cry! Yeah, make a performance check. Right. Oh, I'm rolling natural twenties like crazy tonight. I love this die. Yeah, well, that was really shitty. He didn't do a good job <laughs> with performance. I think that only puts him in eight. Why are you trying to fake cry on me? I I just wanted to make sure that I express the intensity of my emotion. Even if my body is not willing, my heart is there. Deception check. (laughs) 
And that's much Another better. Another natural 18. 20. <laughs> well, he got an 8. He, be persuasion. he got an 18 plus 8 for a 26. Six? Yeah. Um, that's nice. a 26. She got a 25. I so, so I don't know oh. if the natural 20 will. You beat it by one. And she's like, she looks at you, even though it's by one. She's like, <sighs> she's not going to say anything, but she's. Relunt reluctantly believes you, but still like still a little, little question mark in the back of her head. Man, he would never lie. <laughs> Actually, speaking of that, she reaches down and grabs you in the nethers and says, <coughs> you'll never yeah, lie to me, right? Yeah. You'll never lie to me, right? He looks deep in her eyes and says, I couldn't even imagine even wanting to. Because there's no safe words here. <laughs> yes, I know. I tried shouting pomegranate many times and it did nothing. There's <laughs> No wonder it was the wrong word. Though. <laughs> <clears throat> of course. I wouldn't think of it like all right. Sister Darling, let his testicles go, please, so we can actually have dinner. <laughs> I just wanted to, to let him know that he is mine. Nobody's debating that, sister. I wouldn't dream of it anyway. Uh, the first course is brought out, and y'all can, and they pour uh, very fancy wine in these fancy goblets. <laughs> Are there warlocks in the goblets? No. Uh, so, uh, you have quite skills, start, leans over to Tulsa in the arena. Uh mind if I ask how have you learned how to do those? Uh, do you mean just like fighting? I um, I trained with the with the the paladins at um, the temple of Sulfrena. Very nice, but you you don't seem to have the same faith as a paladin. Basically, a paladin. Very nice. And uh, you, the... Uh, so, will you stop pulling... I'm sorry, I can't keep my hands off him. Well, you can all see that, sister. Uh, what qualities do you bring, Manny? You know, maybe not in the battle end of things. I'm, I'm more on the thinking end. I'm very good with analysis, advising. In fact, I've, I've advised quite a few important people in spiritual matters, or helping them commune with their, uh, with their la lost loved ones, uh, advice and love and other sorts of things. Hmm. When I can, I do my best to advise the group that, uh, that I was with as well. And how's that worked out for you? He was yeah. a really good distraction. <laughs> I mean, you need that in battle. Thank you so much. It's it's, it's wonderful to be valued. Well, as my sister is probably getting well worth of amount of resources that we have put in bringing you and your friends back to this plane of existence, we want to make sure our money and resources is not misplaced. And, uh, as you know, um, beyond just the, the physical injuries that one is seeing from battle, there are also mental ones, ones of morale, and at times I can, I can be helpful in that, in that area as well. Um, 
really has so darling. <laughs> and she's just like the whole time rubbing her hand up and down your leg. <laughs> um, Manny in Providence in your in your head, Manny says. Uh, speaking of which, uh, if there's an opportunity for the two of us to uh, try again, now that the uh, now that we're out of the Black Order, perhaps we can work on on your block. But you hear that just telepathically. Uh, she's going to be thinking. I think we should just kill these people. 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 <laughs> and he can't hear you though. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, was y'all two a thing? Oh no, nothing like that. Uh, you know, um, Providence. You were having these be... weird looks, and no, brother, he is clearly mine. Where <laughs> they may have had, it's no longer because he is mine now. There has never been anything between me and Providence in any way. Nothing like that. Uh, there are moments where it is helpful. Uh, as Providence carries such a weight on her shoulders, I would have someone to talk to one on one briefly. Um, and if there is an opportunity for the two of us to, to speak for a moment as well, that would be absolutely excellent. But again, nothing sexual. She's like a sister to me. I couldn't imagine. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I mean, if you want to include her, I'm all game for it. No, thank oh, you. No, yeah. No, I oh. mean, you are really cute, but. <laughs> Just I cute. think she'd rather have you to herself, to be honest. Manny, um, he said we can go see Fane after this. If you wanted to come see um, the rest of the group. Uh, he looks to his owner first to see if she allows it. <laughs> uh, she, he has plans after. I guess I'm afraid I have to decline. Well, we'll stay in contact, don't worry. You know, just however you need to. Yes. You hear in uh, in your head, you hear, uh, I have a plan. Um, if you don't see me again, make sure that you find and get my bag and deliver it to Kalis. She kind of just nods very, very slightly. And thinking, got it, got it, bag, Kayla's going to get it done. <laughs> uh, over the course, the uh, rest of the meals are brought out. Um, unless there's anything else, uh, they just, they would like to know, like, how you plan on repaying for their losses to get you. Uh, Providence doesn't feel like she had the money to pay anything. She didn't die. She's in the clear. And she is literally putting every piece of food into her, into her pockets that she can. Her, there's probably oil stains on the dress right now. So maybe uh, what sorts of streams of revenue uh, do you see as possibilities? Um, That's but, why we were asking what your strengths were. Mm, yes. Uh, well, this group has a wide range of skills. We have a uh, resident artificer. Does he know you're an artificer group, Butch? Yeah. Well, what sort? Uh, he knows you're an artificer, yeah, artificer. right? He's probably able to figure that out by the time together. Yeah, you're asking questions pretty early about that. We have a resident artificer which could construct any manner of items. Uh, there's actually a former captain. Uh, it would be very, very useful on any kind of naval ventures you might have. Um, Fame New York uh, is uh, in, in, indispensable. Uh, <laughs> is absolutely indispensable. I will not go any without her. And as well, we have a druid. She's excellent with healing and also very powerful in battle as well. I mean, you should probably be careful with her. She might be a little bit fragile. <laughs> 
So if we were to give you a job, what would you like? What would be your strengths? Do you want to go fight to back in the arena again? Because I don't know. We don't feel very confident of what just happened, obviously. I'm, I'm not sure the arena is the best option. However, if you were looking for maybe, uh, you know, actually Providence herself is quite the bodyguard and has done an uh, excellent job of protecting ships, uh, Jean-Pierre captaining, captaining them. Uh, we could play a great role with sensitive cargoes if you might have any of those. Uh, if you have any other sorts of uh, missions that you need a strong but discreet group of people to work on as well, we can do a wide number of things. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Providence, would you like to be my bodyguard? I wish that whatever I was doing a higher purpose, but if keeping you safe prevented others from getting hurt as well, then yes, I could do that. Very, very well. Menti, what what do your position like to be? And my sister uh, said something about the letter that you wanted to deliver or something. Um, Yes, being in captivity for so long, I have some some friends I've been dying to stay in contact with that are, are terribly worried. I just wanted to let them know that I'm okay, um, if if at all possible. I have a a signet ring in my bag that I'd like to use with a wax seal, so that they know it's for me. Okay, I think they could be arranged. And also, if possible. Um, Shit. Um, I'm trying to think of a way that the two of us could be alone so Manny could dive into your mind a little bit, but um, if possible, I don't know if Providence and I could have a moment to strategize between the two of us. But, you know, as we put our heads together, two are stronger than one, and we could maybe discuss some ways that we could be of better service to the two of you. After dinner, perhaps. Yes, I can't tell you how great. As I long am. as you promise to be on your best behavior within these walls. Absolutely. He looks. I'm always on my best behavior. <laughs> he looks to his sister. Yeah, no, no. Also, Manny's like studying the servants to see how they're dressed and the way that they walk. To potentially um, sort of like analyze all of that. He's listening to see if they name each other so he can capture the names of the. Story. They don't say a word. They don't say a uh, word. They don't. They they come in. They don't. They don't speak. They're very formal and um, basically just like in a maid outfits, and yeah. they literally don't say a word. They place the food down, take the old plates, and leave. They don't, As they don't he's speak. They don't As he's doing that, can I also kind of look at just being a person who has been been around fighting and fighters? Do they look like they can hold their own in a fight? I, I don't know about like magic, but at least in terms of, of physicalness, um, both the, the twins and 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 the servants. Can I tell if they're they're going to be dangerous? If I need to fight my way out of here, could I get it done? Uh, from what you have seen. Because he did call somebody else in to do a projection yeah. for you. Um, you can probably just tell these are just very um, high class nobles. But as far as like Thank any you. real combat or anything, gathering they have guards and stuff, they pay for muscle. So in a room alone, I could crush him. Got it. Probably. <laughs> Wanted to be sure. Uh, I'm ready to but you also, it. but you probably also get the feeling that you probably won't leave that manor alive. Cornered animals. But, yeah, you can gather they're just really a high, powerful, like political powerful down here of uh, nobles. 
If if she can steal a moment with Manny, she does want to know if he has any idea how much it costs to get him back. She wants to get an idea of how much how much Manny is indebted and Fane is indebted to these people now. Without directly asking them. Asking them or asking Manny? <laughs> she wants to ask Manny, but if she doesn't have a moment, she'll ask Edward. And Manny has an idea, actually. So. Well, you are now, we now own you, as simple as that to you. You're our slaves. I don't like putting labels on it like that, but downhill is how the world works down here in this city. And can we buy our freedom eventually? It's more of earning your freedom. So, yes. Depends. There's one option. You could uh, just marry me and you wouldn't have that title anymore. She huh? She doesn't say anything. Oh, I thought she said something like that. So. But uh, we'll retire to the lounge. And uh, if you like, we'll give you a moment to talk amongst yourselves. There'll still be guards placed on the outside of the lounge but we'll give you a time to commune with your each other and uh, we go freshen up thank you for dinner her pockets are literally bulging with food <laughs> they're not that big of a pockets they're like very they're just big enough for actually your hand so it's not a lot you might put a few of the um there's some very squishy sushi rolls. Yeah, that's probably about as much as you could put in there. That'd be about it. I feel the oil from that turkey leg might have ruined your dress. That's not my dress. <laughs> so you're brought to the lounge, and uh, we can pan back over to um, our four in the cages if anything's changed. If y'all just trying to sleep or what? Give you all a chance to talk amongst yourselves. How late is it? It's just late evening. Like okay. it's getting close to nighttime or sleep time. But I mean, I, fain, fain, I don't want y'all yeah. just sitting there not doing anything. So I want to give y'all a chance. Mm. Yeah. Um, Fane would have been entertained by the water for probably like maybe twenty minutes, <laughs> and then would start like pacing and. Climbing the wall and climbing back down and going and using the water to like take a little bit of it and splash it at the door and see if it bounces back and the water goes through the door. Well, then I would be using it to try to splash people in the next cage over. You and can, then, and yeah, so I'd be doing that and going back and forth and climbing and just that nonsense. Still looking to see if if. Prue is, happens to be walking around, but so just... I think I said uh, Jean is next to you, and then it's glitch, and then it's R and S. Okay, so so uh, yeah, Jean, you get Sorry. water splashed on you <laughs> a few times. Uh, okay, I I would be sitting there um, on the on the cot or whatever form of bed we have, uh, playing some little tunes on the instrument, and then. Mm -hmm scheming of ways to get out of here. Just thinking. But like paintball sized bit of water just hits you. <laughs> just going around. You have quite the energy for uh for just having died. Yeah, but I got better. You have a point. Well, she's also missing her tusk, so. Hmm. That's new. I wonder when she was going to notice that. She's been passing around like crazy. When do you. She wasn't going to notice until we said something. Yeah. 
wait, wait. I'm gonna use primal savagery to make to try to make them my teeth sharper. Do, did they come back now? Nope. It, but my teeth got sharp, so okay. Hmm. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um... Same as always. Nothing. <clears throat> very nice glitch. It's very helpful. <laughs> well, <laughs> glitch gets off his bed and rattles the cages. See? Same thing. Unless it opens and I tumble out. <laughs> nope, it doesn't open. <laughs> uh, you get your own room. There's still no privacy. Actually, even less. Yeah. Um... The only thing I can think of doing, but I'm not sure if it'll freaking work, is uh, shape shifting. All right, up you fucking four lap. Get up. Or away. I am up. Why are you yelling? There's We've no been yell. up. <laughs> um, all the doors magically open. Follow us now. I jump out as soon as it's okay? open. All right. Let's are we going to goes. proof? Are we, are we are we seeing proof? You've been requested. Just follow us. Fine. Who requested oh. us? None of your I damn business. The people them. who bought you. Let's go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Fine. You'll head out. Mm -hmm. Head out of the yeah. cage. <laughs> they they bring you out. And uh, then they also say, no funny business. Like, like no telling jokes? No attacking, no, yeah. trying to attack and fighting and all that crap. Mm -hmm. And uh, they bring you out and they bring you up to. Uh, into the manor, the very fancy manor, and you're eventually brought into the lounge but before that, we'll give Providence and Manny a chance because they wanted to find, but they're going to be bringing you out up into the manor, into the lounge where they are at. But before we get to that part, let's go back to Manny and Providence. Uh, you have your little moment together. Manny? How can we get out of here? We have to get out of here. We need to wait. Do you want me to kill them? I can do it right yeah. now. They're, they yeah, look really no, weak. No, 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 no. You hear in your mind, Manny switches to telepathy. Uh, and you hear, we need to wait until we're in a more advantageous position. Attack when we can see a route out. But we need to maneuver ourselves first. Um, I may have a plan for Kalis, but not the rest of you just yet. Um, I'm not sure how much time I have with you. Now that, now that uh, Craven's sister is no longer in control of us, would you like to try again? I know it's rushed, it's not the ideal circumstance, but the more control you have of yourself, the better chance we have of getting out of here. Well, we can try. I, um, I, tr I tried to, when I woke up, I tried to, I tried to set it off, the, the bright lights, it, um, it didn't work. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to dig in again. This time, let's think about the very first time that you used your powers. Are you ready? She holds her hands because she just has no idea what to do. All right, he'll take her hands and then he'll activate his detect thoughts and he'll start digging into her mind to try to figure out. Uh, surface, like, th surface thoughts? She's just like, dude. 
Yeah, she starts digging in deeper to try to see the moment, the first time she ever used her radiant consumption. Um, do you want the first time it was intentional, or do you want the first time it happened? First time it happened. Um, you probably see a really young version of of Providence, um, maybe like twelve, maybe thirteen. Um, and she is uh, probably lying, um, probably on like some straw in like a barn or something like that, uh, and cuddled up next to her, not in anything like romantic, but just like cuddled next to her, likely for warmth, is a very small uh, little orc girl. Orc girl, like a uh, fame. Oh. Uh, and you'll you'll see you'll see Providence. Um, so she's definitely sleeping, um, but she's kind of like jerking around as if she's she's having a nightmare. Does he know what her nightmare is about? Uh, Jugen, does does he know? Can he see into that? Uh, this is a past dream. You will have to pry, and if you fail it, even if you allow it to happen, he can see your nightmare. Um, I don't think she consciously is letting him do it, so I'm going to ask him to roll. Uh, that would be from you a wisdom saving throw. Okay, I will do a wisdom saving throw. Uh, what's the, the DC, DC on this? 14. Uh, that's a 18. Uh, so, uh, um, yeah, you're so, definitely seeing her. Yeah. I was going to describe So, Manny, as you're trying to zoom, like, try to pry into this, her force pushes you out of that All right but i still see her with fame now it's, it's kind of like you're still watching it from like hovering as you try to pry in to figure out it pushes right back where you were uh you probably see her and she's probably like she's probably like sleep talking too and she's probably saying things like no no leave me alone why why are you following why are you following me i leave me alone and then um, Fane is just, just there sleeping and Manny, suddenly... give me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> One. <laughs> Wait, I got a modifier. Uh, three. <laughs> um, Manny, as you're sitting there watching it, you hear coming from up behind you. You should not be here. I told you not to be here. Brings up that dagger that you have seen that Providence always sees. Slices your throat in this dream. Can I have some agency here? And Providence, you see Manny as he's praying. The familiar white-haired woman with that dagger come up behind Manny and slice his throat. Uh, as she's doing this, I'd be yelling out, it was her. She was in the dream. It was her. It was her. It was her. It was her. And you get shoved out of the dream, Manny, and you feel a heavy pain in your neck. And you take 97 point off. No, no, no. Not, uh, no. 12 points of psychic damage. And you. <clears throat> And Providence, you see this, and then it, the vision vanishes. But Manny, you have like almost kind of like a hot something hot goes to his skin and makes it red for a second. So it's kind of you got like a red slash across your neck right now, but you're not bleeding or anything. It's just kind of like inflamed. Well, Are you okay? I, I, I think we discovered that her uh, sphere of influence goes beyond the arena. Oh. It it, that that was her. She was in the dream. Um, so she triggered your first ability from the very beginning. Yeah, and and that's that's how I hurt Fane the first time. You hurt, you hurt her. She were, that was her you were holding when your when your consumption was off when your powers were off. Yeah. That's that's why she has that scar on her face. It'll never go away. Never. Never. Um, wow. So it, yep. it logically seems clear that 
You associate using the power with Kevin Sithbeck. And that makes it hard for you to control it and use it as your own. You want to think it's her, but she wants to tell you it. I, I think correct? I'm more concerned with just not hurting people. At least not hurting the people I care about. But if you don't have control, the possibility that you hurt people is higher. Is How it? do I fix this? Manny, you gotta fix me. Well, <laughs> I'm afraid I only have the ability to do that once a day and that I'm spent. I don't know. Uh, she's actually going to lay her hand on you and she's going to uh, just cast a spell because she can cast spells and she's like uh, I, I usually just say get up because I only really use this in battle but get up <laughs> and you're going to feel <laughs> she's going to cast healing word on you alright and and you'll gain um, whatever it is what is it 1d4 plus something yeah, whatever. Uh, you don't you cast what? Word. Healing word? Do you have any spell slots? Uh, I have one spell slot left because I only used one during the fight. So it's 1d4 plus 2. I think. Because first level, that's all I had. Two. Four hit points. Thank you. That also no. healed the like. No, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jugan's right. I used, I used, um, I used, uh, Glowing Sword Blast. Uh, as many times right, as I could. Sword blast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, glowing sword blast. Well, cutting bolt. Um, so she does that. She she says all the things, and it doesn't happen. She's like, "Oh, sorry, sorry. I I really did, I really did tra train uh, with with the paladins and and the clerics." And I I, I, I believe you. I'm just I'm just not very good. Your excellent, Robert. Your excellent. Hello? about this time you rest your party or friends with exception of Kalis obviously come into the lounge and are escorted in as soon as I see her I book it <gasps> do I do I see her or does she hit me I was I would say she hits you because you're in deep conversation with Manny you probably wouldn't even notice them coming in yeah, I, I I feel this We're thing like hit me holding hands from the side. <laughs> yeah, I, I I feel this very familiar creature, and I just I just I just literally just pick her up, and I'm like, <gasps> and she's just like crushing her. I'm sorry, but you're gonna take some bludgeoning damage. Yep. Uh, she is just like squeezing as hard as she possibly can. She's like, where have you been? You died. You died. We got better. I'm I know. I heard. Sure. It's like <laughs> when you get sick, and then and then your body. Does the the clerics at Sylphrenda's temple said that when you get sick, then your body does stuff so you can't get that sick again? I'm pretty sure we're immune to death now. Ah, uh, why didn't I die then? Yeah. Damn it. You didn't? No, 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 no. I lived from a dragon. You see the scars? Nice. Cool. Hey, what the hell? Where's your scar? Where's your freaking tusks? But they said, wait, my scars gone too? They just said my teeth were small. What happened to you? Um, I, oh, I tried to Eldritch Blast out of, out of the cage and it bounced back and hit me in the face. So that might be why I'm a little bit. No, weird. there's something else different. Something, something strange. Um, does she notice anything about the rest of the party? Did they change it all either? If they had any, uh, Glitch's hair is completely different. It's brown and it is not the same mm -hmm. as it was before. John's uh, gray feathers are no longer gray. Uh, Arnis is Arnis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing really changed for her. She's not looking um, as old as before. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so she'll look over the rest of the groom. She's like, hairdo? Not as colorful as I was thinking. You look kind of younger. Not so bit. I think you look wonderful at every age I want. Keep talking, you're gonna get smacked. As you're looking at Arminus, he does have a little bit of a redness, like almost a little bit of a small handprint on the side. What happened to you, though? I'm just... Uh, got slapped in the round a little bit. It was, um, I think it was mostly a friendly slap. I'm not entirely sure, but 
Okay, uh, team, guys, mm. we've mm -hmm. been bought. Kind of figured when we were back in cages again. Yeah. How come you weren't there? But I don't think I died. Guys, Manny, why were you not in a cage? I, I did die. Um, they, I think, wanted to discuss the terms of our capture with uh, I wanted it sets you hear from the background, and, uh, <laughs> and he was the hottest among you, and I wanted it sets. <laughs> they seem to have particular interest in Manny and I. Hmm. So, uh, as both of the twins are there now, and See, as I've, uh, he looks, uh, Edward looks at Providence and like, see, I've kept my word to you and now see him. What happened to her tusks? Uh, that's just a reaction of the spell that was casted. I don't know, but actually, no, that is not, I do not have the answer to that. I'm still in her arms, hugging her <laughs> neck, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Six foot tall, dragging with a four foot tall person hanging from my neck. Yep. Did you have false tusks, Fane? No. Insight. No orc has false tusks. Can I insight that? If you do, I'm going to be so mad. I wouldn't have known about this. <laughs> uh, insight, that's a 21. I've had I'm an orc. They were real tusks. They were real tusks. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. We'll find we'll find out what happened to them, buddy. Hmm. Are you guys okay? Are you feeling alright? You actually look really healthy. I'm feeling great. Oh, I kinda look gross. Like I have like burn marks still. I probably could have cleaned them up, they gave me time, but usually that just cleans itself up. You also Stay see back. her in a very red, elegant dress, which is really odd for her, by the way. And uh, same thing for Manny. He's in like a nice fancy clothes. Also a red dress. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> elegant red dress. Yep. Uh -huh. I picked the nicest one in the closet. <laughs> and y'all still in the normal raggedy clothes that you had. Although they're cleaner. They're oh, do you paper. want some food? I took some. Did they mess? Yes. Did they at least like mend our clothes? They mended them and washed them, but they're your same regular clothes. But the you see them in fancy clothes. Hmm. True, why are you clearly in... getting better treatment than you guys got? Uh, I don't know. I think Where are your pants. Yeah, I don't know. They kind of just. Put... I woke up in a nightgown. Who put you out of your clothes and into a nightgown? Don't know. I didn't think of asking that. I, was I, just I, cl I clear. I clear it. Did. What they when they were healing her. I must say, Providence, you do look excellent. As do the rest of you. You so look fantastic. I'm so happy to see you. Still missing one. Yes, Kalos. They they say that they say that Kalos is still back where we were, and somebody else bought him. Yes, I I may be slightly responsible for that. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We can mm -hmm. we can get him back. Really? You're I'm sure we can we can always get him back. You have any plans for that? Uh most of my plans are usually hitting people. So um, I think you add like we're not standing right here. Uh, well well look, I'm not gonna hit you. But I Is hit the people that own K Kalis. Kalis has been bought by a front through the thieves guild to uh betting on. That's the reason they poisoned the uh, the other combatant last time. If they don't do something for the next one, I'm, I'm worried Kalis might not have a whole lot of time left. Hmm. What now? We, have, we decided to bring you up here because we want to figure out what your strengths are and what you can provide to us to replace our losses to bring you back from, you know, literal death. Um, Bane makes me stronger. I need her. Prue makes me stronger. I need her. As I was mentioning, those two are very strong, great with defense. Arwunis is talented with animals, spirits, uh, formidable in battle as she is in healing. Uh, we have a... Uh, she didn't heal Fane though. 
Hey, I tried. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm very and, happy she's still here right now. Right? We'd be having words. And our incredibly resourceful Jean Pierre. Um, in fact, I imagine Jean Pierre might have a wide range of possibilities for commerce or uh, other sorts of ideas for you to expand. I'm sure he can speak for himself. Seriously? He's a parrot. <laughs> That's why I was making the introduction. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you for the introduction, Manny. Uh, I, I, I do bring quite a lot to the table, I suppose you could say. Um, I, a professional captain, uh, as well as, uh, as, well as a part-time uh, crook, as they say. Um, so deception, thievery, all that type of fun stuff. If you're interested. Interesting. Uh, what about that one over there? Was, they point the glitch. Glitch is too busy looking around with stuff. <laughs> it's, very, it, it's a very <laughs> nicey, fancy, high class place. Yeah. He's kind of wandering probably, off. He's probably this well, you're, 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 you're confined to the lounge area, which is has like four satin red oh, yeah. velvet red velvet couches uh ever glowing uh, lanterns on the wall and there are some bookshelves over to the right so he's just going around looking poking at stuff glitch so. is the smartest one of us all he's absolutely brilliant that for me be proof so we have uh, established uh, the roles that uh, Providence and many will be fulfilling here. Um, so we're trying to establish some roles that you others will fulfill. My role is with Prue. Your new bodyguards are me and Payne. We have experience doing security work. You misunderstand. Uh, you are slaves um very much the providence is my personal bodyguard mm -hmm. which means me too no i can i can be your bodyguard for all of the physical things and fane will be your bodyguard for all of the non physical things oh uh, you do mention yeah, yeah yeah since you're not interested in the other festivities maybe a fame would be interested in those he literally holds on to fame a little bit tighter because she's not like <laughs> what's he talking about <laughs> it's either him or Vorgrak. you don't like roro oh don't call him that <laughs> Which still thinks he still thinks Fane is dead. By the way, that's fine. <laughs> well, either way, we have put a great deal of money into that. And we wish to get that back in form of the the arena or any other ideas you might have that can get us our money back. Do you ever send stuff places by ship? Because we have a captain and two people who have experience with ship security. And other people who can learn to do that real quick. We use a uh, direct buy from that. Hmm. We don't actually own a ship. Doesn't even own a ship. It's a shame. Every 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 good noble needs to own a ship. It's, uh, no does it mean does. we does it mean we can't buy one? Are you gonna? I think because I think you should. So what would you use with the ship to earn us my money back and replacing for the money for the ship? Well, the ship's yours. Well, the so. ship is yours first and foremost. That's a that's a big investment that you can, you know, use. You can sell it later. There's not, there's endless uses to a ship on the water. Uh, 
Because typically what uh. we do here is train gladiators to go fight for us in the arena, and that's how we earn our money. That's what typically we could do. But giving your last uh, showing at the arena, we don't have much confidence in that. Well, and of sadly, course. And yeah. sadly, and we pay for you before that debacle happened. But of course, but of course. I mean, you... And this is this is this is where your business this is this is where your business knowledge has come short. You're 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 betting everything on fighting. Why not why not expand your expand your reaches into the commerce of the of the rest of the world? Now I, a perfect captain, knowledgeable in, in different trade routes and such, can help you with that if you'd be interested. And it's probably so. help you steal a ship as well. Also, I do I do uh, I don't say this much, but if you are if you are ever feeling tired one day, and then I'm going to cast uh, disguise self, make myself look like him. I I can, I I can go in your stead if you'd like. Ever feeling lazy at some point? <laughs> Manny's is looking super disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There is some there's some parties I do not like going to that I'm required to, but my worry is you're technically our slaves and I get the vibe that you do not wish to be slaves. Anybody? Does anybody? I'm gonna turn back. Huh. Well, of course no one wants to be slaves. Who does? Would you want to be a slave? Doesn't sound too fun, does it? So it sounds like you want to have a partnership instead. Hmm. I mean, that's your decision to make. Take the chances on us and have and potentially get much more money than you've ever thought possible. All right. How about this? You work for us. There's a rival family that we want to get rid of. The web All girls right. are bringing in a shipment. I want you guys compare that shipment as loyalty for me and then we can draw contracts seems like we have a deal hmm. opinions I had points of, I had gesture to the rest of the party I'm just the bodyguard I am the other bodyguard I mean, I, I would love to join you guys. It might give us a chance to find Manny. I mean, not Manny, uh, Kalis. Anyway, I can go somewhere. Um, Glitch, you're going to hear in your head uh, Manny say, in my bag, if we can possibly reach it, or you can reach it, is both a forgery kit and a series of, in, of uh, priceless star maps. Particularly important is the one, I'm looking for the name of it, sorry, at the same time that I'm talking. Multitasking. Uh, Paradox, I think it was called. Paradox, is that what it was called, Yugen? What are you talking about? Uh, the star maps. I don't remember. Oh, that was I found so it. Cool. I found it. I found it. Okay. You got it. Uh, there's 19 priceless star maps in my bag. One of them, particular, is very important for me about to. It's the star of Paradox. Uh, and there's also a forgery kit. If you're able to make copies, you could sell those for quite a bit as well. So you just hear that. But whatever you do, make sure you hold on to the map of Herod. Paradox. That one's in particularly important. Mm. 
Glitch looks around. <laughs> Where's the bag? I don't have it on me, and I'm speaking in your head, so don't speak out loud at the moment. <laughs> yes, Glitch, is you able to say something? <laughs> Just thought of. I was missing a bag. Oh, we we have your uh, supplies in storage, so no way there. Oh, can we have it? Well, do we have a deal? Huh? What's going on? Glitch comes back. <laughs> You know what? Talk about Not this. We we we'll leave y'all together to talk about it. Uh, and Minnie, did you want to come with us to write that letter? Yes, of course. Um, okay. I'm sure you guys will make the best decision, but please stay there. And then he'll take off and 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 go to write his letter. All right. So uh, Manny leaves with the twins, and you are left to talk about that. The twins are gone? The twins left with Manny. Okay, how do we get back to the arena? How do we get Kayla's? How do we get out of here? I don't think Kayla's is at the arena anymore. Uh, no, was... they said he was. They, they said he was. Oh. oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that. Or they told me. They told Providence. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. But they said some. Did, what? So, who has a list? Uh, I don't know. Man, Manny said that it was the the thieves guild, but I think I I don't know. Somebody somebody owns him. Somebody somebody that's not where not we're guys. at. Okay. Uh, I don't we think we could just walk around, get him. No, hell no. We could go back and fight. I mean, we could probably tell them we want to be gladiators. They'd probably... No, nah, I'm good. Two years is enough for me. Yeah. As much as I enjoy a good fight, uh, it's that arena is not... I mean, honestly, I'm kind of relieved you said that. I do I do like fighting, but it, it felt so pointless. I, it's not what I was designed for, or it's not what I trained for. Mm -hmm. What none of us trained for. I didn't train for that. We can't so, go back. Are these people going to let us wander around? Not really. I don't think so. There are probably guards right outside. We have our magic. Mm -hmm. for well, for That's now. Like except because where we're us four are at, we are in a cage and we will only get magic to a certain oh. point. That sucks. I was like in this really nice place. Lucky you. Yeah. No windows though. I don't know. They they undressed her and put her in a nightgown. Is that really lucky? Ah, uh, the person in the room next to me was screaming, sort of. Like good screaming or bad screaming? I think it was the good screaming. <laughs> yeah, well, okay got lucky. then. Um. So they want us to get this cargo from the web wells i guess you can totally do that mm. yep the shipment from the web wells well john this is your expertise i guess we'll follow you onto this one all right <laughs> should be too we're excited. free to go <laughs> don't look too excited they discuss all your skills i'm just sitting here just, just watching you guys bicker yeah never bicker Bickering is such an old person thing to do. You bicker. Not bicker. It's even like an old word. Oh my lord. Okay. You need to quit it with the old. I don't look it. I'm not that old. Compared to my father, I am young. So stop well, it. Everyone's young compared to a parent of theirs. Fine. Okay. Compared to... A mountain... The entire world. All right. I don't need smart assness right now, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We shouldn't be making fun of your old ageness. Oh, my. 
Good old age. Um, She's an elf. It doesn't affect her. That's right. <laughs> but she's still old. Happy. I'm not old. Would get off the age aspect, please. Okay. I'm also older than you. I bet. Okay, how old are you? I'm young. Technically, uh -uh. compared to you, I'm young. I'm 68. Okay, you're half. That's not fair. But I'm older than them. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to live past, like, okay, 28. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Exactly. Back on topic, <laughs> off the age of oldness, if you guys are not that old. You're, like, more than 100 years older than I'm probably going to ever be. I'm an elf. That's how it works. Yeah, elves are old. Okay, okay, we need a plan. Okay. My plans are basically just hitting things, so maybe I shouldn't be coming up with a plan. John! As of now, they have given us the opportunity to go procure uh, some goods from their rival... their rivals. Mm -hmm. I... I believe this is a if if any if I know any noble, they're they're looking for more business opportunities or more opportunities to make money. So if we I I think stick with this, get a little bit of get a little bit of hold on on their brains, kind of you know make them think we're good, and then and then we then we pry this as much as we can to see how much we can get out of this, and then either in the midst of it, or after, find Kalis and bring him over here. Sound like a good idea? As long as the plan has to get Kalis, I, I like that guy. He needs to come back. Oh, of course. Kalis is awesome. Well, if they're going to let us technically go and get a shipment... Let's not push our luck, too. We're going to eventually earn more movement... I don't think you're gonna do both in one night. Nice. Right, but the but the longer we take, the more time he has to fight, and he doesn't have Maddie to help arrange stuff. He's gonna die. He's blind. Right. But we can't rush it either, because we're still slaves. As much as we don't have those shiny manacles anymore, we're still under lock and key. Do you think I could shoot the door in here without it hitting me back? I Probably, think we should try. but not in the best option right now. Bruce says I should try. I'm going to try. No, I'm gonna shoot. Don't, don't, uh, don't, no. don't, 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 Okay, no, 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 maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> Besides, I could probably just break the door down anyway. Yeah. That is true. But they already know that you're strong enough to be a bodyguard. Don't show them by damaging their property. I don't think they'll like that. <laughs> No, it would put more on our... How expensive is a door, though? You never know with no... Okay. No, you also friend. might take it as signs of aggression and it might have a natural fight and you might actually die this time. <laughs> Please, no. Yeah. I'm, exactly. I'm used to only having cantrips. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh. Uh, let's do the job and get out of here. What, then now? I didn't need a rest. I, we need a rest still. Or they left you, you decide had... whether or not if you're going to do it or not. Or I think we do it. And I think we use this as an opportunity to find to access some places in the arena we couldn't normally because we wouldn't be going back as fighters. Uh, I don't Communicate think we're going with Kalis. That's true. We're getting we can more do of... both. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we're going back towards the arenas. I think we're both going towards more of the shore. Because that's in the We might have reception. to. Well, do we get to design how we do it? Probably. Yeah, that's uh. Maybe? Oh, feathers here. We have to. We for some reason have to go around the arena then. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what uh, that's what uh, John John's uh, plan says, right? We go through the arena. It's the easiest yep. way. Wink, wink. Um, and nudge. Know what I mean? Um. As y'all have that discussion, the camera pans over to where Manny is in like a little uh, office with uh, the twins. 
Uh, okay, wait. Uh, you said you wanted to make a letter. Here's the uh, ink and quill. Thank you. And um, if possible, could I get my bag in order to have my person see a place? Sure. Uh, eventually, they'll send for it. They send one into guards for it. Okay, once he's got his bag, he pulls out his signet ring and he hands it. Do you want me to read the letter or should we do this part? Cause I wrote it on. Uh, do you. So, what do you want to do? Uh, so, what do you want to tell the. What do you want to tell them to give me a chance to write the letter and how you want to. What are you telling them? Oh, uh, so I'm going to say, hey, you know, um, could I ask you a quick question, actually? Do you have a recommendation of the nicest hotel in town that would have a really nice penthouse suite? For what purpose? Uh, just uh, recommendations for a friend, that's all. For what? Uh, just a recommendation for a friend. They like to stay in the nicest and nice places. Uh, let me see. As I pull up a name generator. <laughs> it's my class list. The bourgeoisie board. Uh... I don't like any of those. Oh, there you go. Uh, the careless orc is. Uh, there's not like far as like fancy. Like there's some up here. Are you trying to find like on the fancy side, or are you trying to? Most well, definitely on the fancy side would be ideal. Oh well, then that's that's not going to work. Then the parallel birds is the best one. Up here in the noble district. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Um, and are they watching him as he's writing this, or yep, obviously they, they're going to? You're still under a uh, slave condition. You're yeah. not given free will yeah. to do whatever you want. So they, but they're not reading his his. Uh, they're not reading his letter. I mean, they're going to ask you what the letter's about and what it's for um, and who it's so for. I just, uh, you know, I have some very close friends who's. Who've been terribly worried about me since I've been living, and I only wanted to look still alive, and that they don't have to worry about. Uh, and so he's gonna. Is it possible for him to write one thing and then minor illusion it so that it looks like something else? If they're yeah. actually looking at him, or is that like too hard to do? Um, they go, you have to make a sleight of hand check. That's also a whole other spell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what illusory script. Yeah, gotcha. Well, I mean, it does say you can create a sound or an image of an object within range that lasts for the duration. Um, so, okay. I wonder if you could like create the image of like a written page that is different than the one that he's writing in case. Well, the part. Well, the thing is, you're writing. But the spell is going to show a fully thing, but you're like halfway through writing it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's going to be fairly obvious that you've casted a spell and you're still writing and it looks like a finished paper. Okay. Well, he's going to hope that they're not actually reading it. Uh, and he's going to pen his letter and then he's going to seal it with a signet ring. All right. Uh, do you want to send it to me? Yeah. Where are you sending it at? Uh, I will send it on Discord. Dun, dun, dun. This is not at all what I thought we talked about. <laughs> this is totally what we talked about. I just thought he was going to be free to do it on a supervision. 
because I thought you wanted to go with it, but all right. I do, but she's well, I was waiting for you to ask them, but you haven't. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, this would be best if I could deliver it personally. But he was also going to sneak out. That's why he uh, he stole the keys. I was going to wait until nighttime. And you don't know where that key goes to, though. That's true. <laughs> he is to the door. <laughs> He's gonna try to sneak out tonight. Uh, da, 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 da. There you go. Here's the letter. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, okay. Is it possible that I could send it myself? I know it's a lot to ask, but I could never even imagine wanting to be anywhere else. Anywhere else. This place is absolute heaven. Give me a persuasion check. Whoa, natural 20 for a 24. Nice. Oh, wait, no, it's 26. My bad. Yeah. Can I go with you as she pops up? Um, I would love your company, but I would hate for you to have to travel outside where it's dirty and uncomfortable. Wow. We'll allow you to go, but you have to go with our guards. Uh, yes, of course. Okay. Uh, you wish to go tonight? Uh, the faster I can send this, the better. They're terribly worried. Okay. Uh, well, fetch your things, and then uh, we'll let you go. All right. Uh, are you trying to go back and see the other party first, or you just want to go straight there? I could go back and see the party really quick. Well, I mean, I'm, I go. That's um, what I'm asking. Sure. Okay. As they're finishing up their discussion, you come back, Manny. You, you see Manny with a sealed letter with a ring. Hey, you found some paper. I did, and I... You didn't save any to play Sudoku, unfortunately, but I was <laughs> able to finally write the letter I've been trying to write for some time. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. I'm about to go deliver it, but I did want to see where you were all standing with this business adventure. Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to find Kilos. We're going to free him. That is absolutely excellent. I am so glad to hear it. You hear Providence inside your mind. Um, just remember. Get yourself into a good position first and pick your battles smartly. So the weak ones. <laughs> You're going to do really well. You know, um, your is your own, not hers. So she knows that he can't reply back or can't hear him. So she's going to say this out loud. She's going to walk over to Manny and she's like, Hey, I um, don't have a lot of family and, and my only real friend is is Fane. Um, you can call me Prue. He just like, you see like this light smile. Like usually when, smile, when Manny smiles, he has this really big smile because it's fake. But you see like this slight tiny smile that's actually real. Um, and he just kind of like looks down bashfully for a moment. Um, you got this. I'll we'll make sure Kalos is safe. You hear inside your mind. Like, even though it's in your mind, it's whispered, and you can call me Adijan, uh, like, whispered inside your mind. Just nuts. Uh, Winnis, I'm glad to see you in good health as well. I'm, I'm so happy for all of you, and I think this is going to work out really well. Um, in your mind as well, Glitch, you hear, do not forget. The Herodox map is the most important one. Glitch, you also see the, the you bag. You also see the bag of holding around his chest, so. As he says this in your head, you look at it and he has the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Points at the bag on your chest. I, I, you like mentally also again here. I don't have a discreet way to give it to you, but um, 
I have a plan, and I hope that I'll be coming back with Talos. Talos will have the bat. Oh. If everything goes according to plan. It's like, we were going to go look for Talos after our mission. And I'm sure you'll do an excellent job of it. He's You're not coming? My utmost priority. Uh, of course I will. Yes, mm-hmm. if I'm allowed, I don't... Uh-uh. He looks over at... Well, manual labor isn't really my strong suit, but he looks over at... What? If, if my mistress allows me, then of course I will I'll absolutely join him. If he has enough energy. Yes, yes. Must save all of it. To know. In the uh, in the experience of uh, this partnership that we are now developing here, we have now set you up in your own guest rooms upstairs. Oh, it's appreciated. Uh, are y'all ready? And uh, many of these two lovely gentlemen guards will escort you to the um, the parallel birds. Wait till you're ready, many. Uh, see you guys shortly. Right. As they okay. leave, they escort Bye. you up to. Um, yeah, if you. Are you on it? Are you gonna say getting sick? Are you saying bye or what? Are you just letting him walk yeah, off we're with? Just, we're just saying bye, yeah. Okay. See you, See you shortly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if there's any water in the room, I'm gonna shoot a little paintball size of it at the back of his head as he walks away. There's not. Okay. <laughs> there's wine, but not water. I don't know if shape does shape water work on wine? Nah, not really. It's not, that's fine. That's fine. I don't know about the finer details of it, so I'm just going to say no. <laughs> uh, as wrong. many as many as escorted out of the building or out of the manor, uh, you all show to your rooms upstairs. And this is a massive manor, by the way. This There's room. As soon as you feel like you're done, you sell all the rooms, you see a few more rooms. So there's is enough. Is Fane's room. room close to mine? It can uh, be. Fane's room is your room. Yeah. You have your own rooms. Yeah, but one's not going to get used. <sighs> all right, but y'all show to your rooms. And we'll cut over. Trying to free a direct message that I just got. Uh, You do not have your sword. You do not have any weapons right now. You're still technically <sighs> I would probably just cut the dress with it anyway. Okay. All right, Manny, as you're starting to be showed outside the manor, what are you doing? Um, so as the guards are escorting him, um, he's gonna be I guess they're taking him to a place where he can deliver the letter, right? Um, you, you asked to go to the Parallel Birds. That's where they're going to be. Taking no, me. I asked them to recommend a place for other people. Um, oh. So he's going to be like on the way. He'll ask if he could stop to use the restroom for a moment. Well, did you just use the restroom at the manor? No, I was so busy. I and I ate so much. I didn't have, I didn't have any chance to go. I'm, I'm absolutely sorry. And I have a terrible bladder. It's very short. Uh, it fills up so quickly. Where well, do you want to use the bathroom at? Oh, uh, this end looks like a good one here. Uh, the Careless Orc, is that what it's called? No, the Careless Orc is way down by the like the coast. Oh, 
Uh, this one looks good. He just points to the nearest place. That is uh, somebody else's banner. That is actually the Woodwells. Oh, well, obviously not there. Uh, as soon as we get an I mean, opportunity to use the restroom, then, then I'd love to take it if possible. Oh, it's just, it's just this alley right here. Do I look like common... You look like a fucking even, slave, so what do you want? Can, can you even pee in this neighborhood? Like, in an alley? I feel like that's absolutely unacceptable. This is the nearest place of business. It'll be just fine. Fine. There's a there's another tavern right here. It's like the Ghastly Child Tavern. We'll go in there. It's a fucking piece of shit. So, uh, Manny makes his way into the bathroom. Uh, and once he's in the bathroom, he's going to look for a window to climb out of. There he is. Uh, all right. First, he's going to cast this guy's self, and he's going to make him look like a pre an elderly priest of Astaria. Uh, and he's going to try to make his way out the back end. Uh, make a slide of hand check to get the door op or window open without making noise. That is a 16. Okay. And another one for stealth chat to get out. Oh, not bad, though. That's a 23. My dice is paying me back for all those net 20s earlier. <laughs> you were able to get out, and nine. you're now amongst the world of Grey Chest Report. Okay, it's easy thing. to sneak around because it is mostly dark in this area. So unless you're directly under one of the lanterns in the streets, you're able to get around. The first thing Manny's going to do is try to figure out um, where there might be signs, wanted signs posted that have instructions on like where to turn in the person they wanted. Uh, there is not because those are not publicly posted. All right. Then the one you're gonna, one you're specifically talking about about you is not publicly posted. Yeah. Then he's going to go to um, he's going to go to uh, a place where there might be a page that could deliver something to the canes. I mean, you were told I I believe you were told, or if not, we can wreck on it. You were told the thieves guild and where they're at. Yeah. Uh, so, in order to get the message delivery, do you have to go to the Thieves Guild, or can you go directly to the Canes? The Canes Manor is not down here. Yeah. The Canes well, is the royal family. They have their castle yeah. way north. That's so. all. I guess, I guess I'm saying, if I sent a page with a letter to the Canes castle, would they get the letter? I mean, probably, yeah. All right, so he will do that, uh, and then he will make his way to the parallel. The the parallel birds. Parallel birds, yes. Put the letter stating for them to meet you at the parallel birds, but the letter's going all the way to the Kane Castle. That's not going to be like a right now thing. Yeah, it, uh, it would be in the uh, tomorrow, I think. It would be a lot longer than that because you're sending it by horseback. Oh, it's that far? Yes. Okay. In that case, he will deliver the letter to the people. Because you're, you're, you're in the underground city. They have to lead the underground city, get to the mainland, and then ride all the way. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, then he'll make the deal with the people directly. Um, so okay. he will. Uh, That's what I was trying to say. If you're what you're trying to do is going to not be real quick. Then I thought maybe you were just going to use what okay, you just he'll, made. He'll deliver the letter to the thieves guild. To the people that had you initially talked to is what I'm, I thought uh, you were talking about. Yeah, 
Yeah, so have it yeah. sent to them, and then he will post up at the uh, at the inn and and wait. Uh, so the people that originally took you will come eventually. Yeah, so he'll you. set it up for like uh, to meet tomorrow once they've secured a room or something, and he'll he'll wait out until. Uh, so there. you're planning on not coming back to the manor, and you're trying to hide out. Yes. So you're going to sit in the parallel birds and not because you don't have money to get a room. They're going to eventually be like, uh, yeah. what, so here's what he'll you? do. He's going to go to the parallel birds in the common inn, uh, and then he will pick as many pockets as he can of gold uh, until he has enough gold to leave. You know, you can pick some pockets to try to get gold. Yeah, that would be the plan. Oh my gosh! Uh, give me a slide of hand checks on the first one. Would you like the first one? Oh wait, uh, twenty nine. Oh nice. 20. Roll me a d twelve. All right, that's an eight. You are able to get eight gold. How much is a room? Oh. Oh, it is a fancier one, so it's like a gold a night. Okay. Um, double, so let me double check that. Where is this? Okay. Two gold, sorry. Two gold a night. Okay. So I'm now down to six gold. Um, so he's going to still like disguise as a priest of Atharia. Uh, he's going to get himself a room and uh, wait for the next So Wade, uh, Wade is the owner and the barkeep of this establishment. It's like, I've never seen yeah. you before. Uh, never seen uh, you around I, these uh, parts. I'm traveling from, uh, from far away. Nice to be here in the capital again. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Eamon. Wow. Oh. If you'd like Enjoy to your stay the for the night. Uh, if you'd like to do. discuss the mysteries of Astaria, I, uh, I, can, I would love to tell you more about the not, goddess. Not, so not you have a moment. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, I just, just never seen you around here before. Uh, uh, enjoy your stay. Um... A bit. Uh, we do have complimentary breakfast in the morning, so they'll be prepared. I must say, I do love breakfast and waking up early. Uh, I will see you there. Okay. Uh, eventually, everybody else at the manor, you hear a ruckus. Actually, what's just going cut to the next day everybody can take a long rest if you're not already taking a long rest um uh the manner you wake up in the morning you're brought down to the lounge again for early early coffee and tea and the twins come in and be like, so i don't know what your friend manny is doing but he slipped the guards last night so this does not go well for our dealings. You've got to be kidding me. Ah. So, eat your breakfast. Uh, we will continue this conversation later. And he's left you guys left to yourself. Um, we'll smash cut back over to the inn. Uh, man, you got to knock on your door. All right. Uh, like as they knock, he casts the, uh, the sky self spell on himself and, uh, makes himself Eamon once again. And answers the door. Ah, hello. 
We have word from the kings. What are you proposing? Uh, well, I'm proposing that you... Do you want me to read the letter out loud, what it said? If you like to. Uh, so the letter says, uh, Esteemed Highness Prince Nicolo, Nicola Timotesh Cain III, the son of the sky, sire of the seas, heir lord of the lands of uh, the Lorestrian Empire, and his functionaries working on his behalf. I have in my possession Adijan Atanas Gilton King, eldest son of His Highness the Prince and Duchess de Mira de Devanica of Gilton. As proof, I have sealed this letter with his personal seal and signet ring owned only by him. Uh, as you may have heard, the Temple of Astaria was recently destroyed and a young man, Kalis Troll, was taken by the Black Order to fight in the arena in the city. It would be my greatest pleasure to exchange Adijan for Kalis with the reward money committed to rebuilding the temple that was destroyed. Uh, secure a room tomorrow at the penthouse suite in the, of the Parallel Birds. Bring Kalis and I shall bring Adijan upon us by 3 p.m. Sincerely yours, Eamon, Scroll Keeper of the Temple of Astaria. So he'll say, I believe the terms were clearly uh, laid out in the letter. If you have... Well, we're just making sure there was not a change of heart on your end. Absolutely not. I will per I will bring Kalis the moment that I see... Or I will bring Adijan the moment that I see Kalis. Kalis. The next morning, you're brought, you're, uh, the cage door, or the, the, the guards came and they come and grab you. Rojak puts you in the back of the cage. We are going somewhere and uh, you've been summoned. Where? We're supposed to meet at the Pale of Birds. That means absolutely nothing to me. Yeah, I don't think it means anything. All that matters, you've been summoned, and uh, I don't know what for. And uh, the carts. Oh, where am I? I killed these. I don't need this anymore. Uh, Manny, as. Um, as you hear, look over out the window, you can see the care cage. What you once rode in many times, pull up, and Kalis is in there, and they are escorted out. Oh, Wade was paid to turn his back and go to his own room and. They pretty much rented out the inn for today. And um, you're brought in. Sit in a corner there, Kalis. As they knock on the door again, Manny. He is downstairs in the lobby. Excellent, excellent. Let me see him. I'd like a quick word with him, and I have Adijan here for you short. He is downstairs. You can come down and have a quick word with him. Right. Uh, Eamon kind of like with his cane, elderly-like, kind of makes his way down the stairs. Ah, oh, the knees aren't how they used to be. Ah, oh, Kalis, it's so good to see you. Yeah. Uh so good. I I have some excellent news. Uh he hands you this bag of holding. Inside are all of the star charts that we need. Uh and the the kind King family has agreed to rebuild the temple. Oh. How did you make it out? You, uh, you, you hear in your mind, shut up. <laughs> um, but, no, Manny, oh, you mean of the temple? Oh, the temple, yes, of course. Um, well, Sorry. 
it's important that you remember, Kalis, that it's you that's going to have to carry on the work of Astaria because I am going to be otherwise occupied. There is something I did want to tell you, though. Yeah? Your, your friend Manny, he's not your friend. What do you mean? I know you want to believe in him, you want to think he's a good person, but he's really not. He was hired to pretend to be a friend, to steal from you. And he wasn't who he said he was at all in the first place. You're better off without him. In fact, the reason you almost died in the arena is because he made a deal with the thieves saying that a blind person could possibly make a lot of money if they were to make their way to the end of the uh, to the end of the uh, the tournament. Uh, he put your life in danger too many times. And it's possible that they even came for him when they were destroying the, the temple in the first place. I can't be sure if they didn't have another reason to get you or not, but... How do you... I... No. No. I'm sorry, Kedis, it's true. He's about to be turned over to the authorities, and uh, I want you to just go on your way, live your life happily. He's alive. Forget about him. For a moment, at least. Are the others alive? Yes, they're at the living stairs, actually. They'll be very happy to see if you go to visit. Uh, unfortunately, they, they still seem to be slaves. And he kind of like looks at the bag. Like, this is obviously like Manny's bag, right? Yeah. Well, Manny stole it from Eamon in the first place. So the only reason Eamon has it is because he robbed Eamon. And that's <laughs> yeah. when he stole all of the star charts. Um, so it's Manny's bag, but it was Eamon's. It's the one that Eamon, Manny said yeah. it gave it to him to like rescue from the temple. That's right. Um, yeah. What, what happens now? I suppose you'll be free, and uh, as agreed, you have are uh, delivering the money to rebuild the temple. Correct? He says to the to the people that are holding it, or holding uh, holding Kalis. Uh, Kalis is just sitting there. Guards are posted at the doors. Yeah. Uh, who's the person who's making the deal? It was the one initially, uh, Yomo, who yeah. was starting to kill you. Yeah. So he'll he'll. Look at the two, and, and you have the money being delivered to the temple now, correct? He says to the two, uh, the two that were hired to kill him. We were just, we're on behalf of the Kane family coming to take Nicola. I don't know, uh, Adijan. Oh, no, sorry, Adijan. Sorry, wrote it wrong, wrote it wrong one. We had to escort as a son back to the King family castle. Yes. And the money will be on its way, correct? And I will, whatever terms you all agree to. Uh, Manny will drop his disguise self. I'm ready to go. <laughs> uh, they said you had tricks. All right. Shackle him. They shackle Manny. Goodbye, Kalis. Don't do this. It's the only way I could think of. I'm sorry. It's for the best. Listen, there's a wizardess named Winifred who believes that the star maps may have some sort of clue to some larger things at play. It's up to you, Kalis. Help get the others free and do what you do best. Yeah. 
It's okay. Uh, Manny is taken away. Kalis. They drop the chains from you. And walk out. And I'm just left alone. Pretty much left alone. Uh, I'm gonna go outside. Try to fill your way outside. <laughs> and see if uh. Rogak is still there. The cart. Uh, yeah. Are you gonna shout for him? Huh? You gonna shout for him? Yeah. Uh, what? What are your chains? Faith, my friend. <laughs> Interesting. Um, can you get me to the living stairs? Come on up. Be my last act for you. Got a surprise for you there. The what? I'm oh, sorry. You got to wear a different word. What? What? A surprise. What's a surprise? A surprise. You're not going to tell me? That's what a surprise is. Fuck! I don't like that. Drive. <laughs> What's a surprise? Drive. I am driving. <laughs> Eventually, uh, you're brought forward to this friend's manor. Oh, I still got a fireplace going. <laughs> um, and you're brought out to the, let's see, Edward comes out. What is going on? Uh, uh, the th blind guy, Kalis, is said uh, he wanted to come here, and I'm dropping him off. What can I do for you? <clears throat> I... Uh... I believe you have some friends of mine. Ah, uh, you are the one that we couldn't buy. Why are you not in chains? I'm still unclear on all of that myself. Another natural 20. I see you have uh, Minnie's bag. Where the I... fuck is it? Gone? What the fuck is going on? I don't know. So you're coming to replace him? I mean, I was coming to get my friends get your friends. Would you mean get your friends? I don't know. Is there like a side out sheet or That's not how that was. I own them. They belong to me. And if I could pay for them? Do you have that much money? Maybe. 
you do realize I had to spend resources to bring them all back to life. We have cut the deal, though. They might be working for me if you wish to be in on it. This wouldn't be illegal. What do you mean? You're in an illegal criminal town. What? I know. <laughs> you get, you get, they're working to they cut a deal with me, so you can either help or you can piss off. I'm down a body now because you slipped my gods. You have his bag. Clearly, you're the last one to fucking see him. The Thieves Guild took him away. So, yeah. So, if you come to join your friends, sure. If you're not, you can piss off. Yeah, I've come to join my friends. Well, all right then. You have your things. Rogak, will you go get my shit? <laughs> well, I'm your servant now? What the fuck is this shit? No, you're my friend. Where's my surprise? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I see my friends? I can take him up, take you up to him now. I just need to see one in particular. You don't make demands. They they work for me. If you're coming to join him, you can come up and meet them. Can or otherwise, you can just piss the fuck off. Can he come? Just to say hi, and then he's going to go get my stuff. Make a persuasion check. Okay. He's very pissed off. He's lost... A lot of investment in Manny leaving. I mean, was he really an investment? <laughs> they brought him back to life. Huh? Oh, yeah. He rolled, he rolled a natural three. Fine. Eventually, they bring you up. Grogat's like, I feel out of place. What the fuck? This, this surprise better be fucking worth it. Uh, they eventually bring you guys to bring you and Grogat to the lounge where the rest of the party is sitting. <clears throat> uh, Edward's like, your blind friend is here and he wishes to see you and he had brought a friend. Apparently your fucking douchebag is gone, so he's here to replace him. I'll let you all chat. Mm -hmm. And he leaves. So we're all in this room? Yeah, they bring... Uh, uh, Kayla shows up with Grogak. And Grogak's like, <gasps> Fane! You're alive! And he runs over to hug Fane. <laughs> uh, Providence would step in between just in case. Yeah, athletics check. I, sure. Yeah, I, I, can I give advantage by hiding behind her? <laughs> give me a debt save. Me? Yeah, and uh, Providence give me a... Uh, an athletics check? Yep. With with I'm, advantage because Fane is helping me? No. You're I'm doing separate two separate actions. Fane, Fane. That's a 25. Um, I'm uh, meets it, beats it, right? So. Uh, Group hug, all three. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I. He runs and grab he's like, yeah, hugs. It's like. All right, you get a hug too. <laughs> um, Start trying to hug both y'all. I mean, I, I, I got like a Orcax. seventeen for hiding behind proof. Uh, he wraps you both up. Um, so glad you don't alive. Thanks, Roro. Oh. Hey, I'm so glad you're alive, Fane. Mm hmm. Yeah. <sighs> 
You wanted a hug too, I thought. Okay. I just, I'm going to get out now. <laughs> He's still going to continue trying to hug Fane. Yeah. I'm just going to surrender. You to look it. so much more beautiful now. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. You too. Hey, let's, where's Manny? Gone. I mean, gone. As in gone, gone, or taken, gone. As in taken, gone. How, who, what, what? What is with everybody in this place? Who is averaging king? Excuse me, huh? You mean Adishon? Yeah. Do I do I know who he is? Give me do history I know check. Who he is? Okay. I know who he is. I got a 15. Also, those guys were the same ones who took Manny uh, after they tried to poison him earlier. So you might have recognized the people that were handling 16. 16. Uh, not specifically, but you do know the Canes as the royal family. If he's um, a Kane, I, I didn't know his last name, but. Kayla, she wouldn't. Did... Have... Uh, I also want to. I want to address what Manny said real quick. Uh, Kaylee, she wouldn't recognize him because they are part of these guilds and use disguise cells and change their appearances uh, yes. all the time. So you wouldn't really recognize him as the yeah, one that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. 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 But go ahead. Sorry, Providence and Arvin. Uh, clear that up real quick. The Canes are like the big. royal family. Big, big. Of well. Like of the Lostran Empire. Yeah. I, I didn't is is his actual last name Kane? Well there is a there's several Canes. You just the wait, Manny's real name is a Kane? And I'm gonna reach into the bag and I'm gonna look through the star charts and I'm looking specifically for that star chart. To see if it's in there. It is. I kind of just put it back. I'm. I don't know anything. Any find him? You you have to know things. I mean. I don't. He traded himself for me, but before that, he looked like somebody else and told me that Manny was a liar and only got close to me to steal something. I think I think a lot of people do things in their past they're not proud of. Proud of, and. Maybe this was his way of making it up to you. I think he was a good guy. Well, we're going to have to get him back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once we get out here. He traded your freedom for his. There's got to be some good in that. Even though he's a bit weird and strange. Uh, I know this is not for me, but uh, I, 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 it's glad to see Fane again. I'll go get your shit, all right? And then I'll be back. Thank see you, Roro. He leans over to give Fane a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walks out. Hmm. All right. I'm just going to lean over to Prue and be like, so if I let the new guy, like if I have sex with the new guy, do you think he'll let us both be his bodyguard and Rogak? Uh, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that sort of stuff. That's, that's, that's not you. Um, I, I will, I, I will make sure no one touches you in a way that you don't want. Don't, don't worry. So hmm. just key. I, I will, I will take row row out. So I need a new set slave too. So um what? Ah, who is this? Caleb is really good at that. 
So you, I, I was told you're here to replace uh, many that had left. Did many really have freedom Four. to trade for someone else's? Can't we just go to the Thieves Guild and get them back? Because technically it's still your property. Yeah, but they're the Thieves Guild. They, they, thieve, they, they steal stuff. This is a Go this back. is a criminal society we're talking about. I don't think the I don't think stealing him back is above us or above them. Hmm. That also might make you think it is a criminal society, and it also makes you wonder why the Keynes are wrapped up in it. The royal family. That's not good. Oh. <sighs> He has that big of a secret he was hiding. Holy shit. Still didn't like him, though. Still my friend. I know. We'll get him back for you. Oh, and by the way, he didn't believe in safe words. But I'll leave y'all two to talk it out. Walk out. I, 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 oh my god. Who is this woman? Wait, she's, uh -huh. she's one of the... She, she's a twin. She's Nira and then Edward. They're the twins. Near, They're you don't very want rich, uh -huh. and they I'm, own all of us. I don't I'm know about not, you. I am not doing those things. With you. <laughs> you don't have to. I will make sure no one touches you in a way that you don't want. I mean, I can also make sure that nobody touches me in a way that I know I you can. Want. I want you to know that I'm always here for you. I don't, um, okay. But we're together again. Which no, means... we're not. Well... We'll get Benny back. Hmm. We're always losing one member. What is with us? Hmm. Uh, we just started doing that. Yeah, we can True. we can stop it. We'll just we'll form new habits. <laughs> Soon, hopefully after we get Manny back, hopefully that will be the last one we have to deal with like that. Hey, and I don't have to fight at the Coliseum anymore. There you go. Uh, well, neither do we, actually. Yeah, we don't either. I'm a bodyguard. And so is Vane. Sort of, we're under negotiation. Yep. Actually, technically, we have to go get cargo from the web wells. Or yes, some, it, so. some job. Mm -hmm. So John is in charge of this one. We're following his lead because he knows what he's doing on this. I will leave all the criminal planning to you. Thank you. It is my new professional title. So I, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Jan Pierre, criminal mastermind. Is it is it criminal down here or is it just something that John Pierre mastermind? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Crook is is good enough for me, but I'll mm -hmm. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. I'm just glad you guys are alive. Mm -hmm. I think so are we. Apparently we weren't, but then we got better. I was yeah, fine. See, so I got burn marks. Uh, okay, let's get see any of that. You can just... Oh, yeah, you can't see the burn marks, but they're really cool. You can't even see but the... Good for you. She's also in I can't even dress. see the changes. <laughs> yeah, you can't even see the good changes. Uh, that's why when you were talking about Glitch's hair, I was like, Glitch is bald? <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all never knew that because it was a wig. Oh, uh, I really want to know what his magic to pay did really badly. Yeah, got to be something crazy. Well, with that being said, I think it's a good stopping port for tonight. We've reached uh, pretty much Matt's limit for tonight. So, uh, unless you don't like to go over four hours, I plan it up to four hours. Can I have like thirty seconds with Kalis for one second? For 30 seconds, not one second. <laughs> but uh, you're in a room with everybody else, too. So you I know. I just want to take him to, just want to, take him to the side. Kalis, um, I need your help. I I talked to Silfreda. I think I'm failing her. I I don't know what to, I, I don't know how to be better. I need your help. We'll do this. Okay. We can do this. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
with that being said. Manny has now left the party to know for what for me to know and nobody else to find out maybe one day who knows uh the outcome of manny will is undetermined for your knowledge you do not know where manny is he is gone gotta find him that being said we'll see you next week and uh jr be playing a different character so (laughs) uh thank you guys for playing tonight uh uh, uh, sorry, Kalis, you set out for most of it, but there wasn't much for you to do. So, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I still had fun. It was a lot of revelations happening. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part was, or if not, leave your emoji. Uh, <laughs> right now, I'll turn it over to my streamer friends, Gr. When you be live again. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we are getting closer and closer to the climax of this segment of Maiden's Mayhem, or Maiden Mayhem's, there's an S in there somewhere, but there's a lot of M's, Uh, they are basically doing the Indiana Jones with pirates and liches and other random shit, and it's pretty fun. Uh, also, on the 20th, we'll be back for Havacores on Saturday nights, every other Saturday night, and on Sundays. Uh, we're going to be doing Boba Badlands, kind of like a business venture of selling Boba in a swamp, in a fantasy land. So come and check those out, please. That sounds super fun. You said that's on Sunday? Uh, yeah, it's going to be the second Sunday of the month, and I don't know whether that's this Sunday or next Sunday. If it's this Sunday, I better get my shit together. Yes, it's this Sunday! Um, so yeah, Sunday the 14th is when that's going to start. Cool. And, uh... Uh, Silver Wolf? Sorry to say Arnus. No, it's okay. Uh, I'll be back on Friday at my normal time at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I'll probably be doing Apex, but we'll see. I will try to add some more days, but besides that, it's still up in the air. And the next time for our D&D will be live on Friday with Dragonlance as they get to fight a mermaid that I designed. So, sh- gonna be weird for those guys so um and i'll part and look out for youtube where i'll be dropping a video in the next couple days and before i go back to work and uh it's gonna be about if helping people if they want to start streaming D and i'm gonna give my little tips and help out and and uh, give some clarifications on my opinions of certain stuff so make sure you check that out well with that being said We love you very much. You have a great night. And uh, we'll see you back here Friday for Dragonlance. Unless I decide to paint something. Who knows? We love you very much. And uh, have a great night. So out.